I should have brought the bottle in here. You need it? He'll kick it, grab it for you. No, yeah. what, what, um, what is this, a sponsorship? Yeah, you're going to say, did these want a sponsor? I don't know if they sponsored it. Bro, what is it? Those, bottles, bro, bro, bro. those bottles have not paid for promotion here. <laughs> they did not get to get show. Oh, Jeremiah? You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Jeremiah can get some love because it's The Rock. Yeah, I, okay. Okay, cool. We love The Rock. We love The Rock. Right? <laughs> yeah, you, know he's, you know he might run for president, right? Well, a rock for president. Not, not in the center, though. So, come he on. might run for Here, president. If you, you, the rock you might can. run for president. The rock. He, the he's got enough popularity. I mean, he, mm -hmm. he does. I'm voting for that nigga. I don't care what his policy is. I'd vote for him. But what about if Ye runs? Who's, who's your vote going to? Well, I'm a kid. well, listen. They should run on one ticket. They should. I think the rock <laughs> would be a great vice president. Yeah. 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 Um. So we're here, man. Uh, got a very special guest. That's right. Right? Uh, my big bro. My big mm -hmm. bro is in the building. Not figuratively, my big brother, my literal, mm -hmm. biological, blood, blood, <laughs> big blood. brother, big but smaller, big, big but smaller. I shot past a nigga, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 brother, man, how you feeling, man? I'm good. I'm good. What's your What's your name though? Uh, Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. yeah. So they, they what's your TikTok like, though? Uh, Sergeant Knucklehead. Sergeant Knucklehead. Sergeant Knucklehead. How'd you get that name? So my dad used to call me that. My oh, he, he called you he called Sergeant Knucklehead or no, just he Knucklehead? Called me a knucklehead. And then so. when you made Sergeant, nigga, I'm Sergeant I'm Knucklehead. Sergeant I, I, knucklehead. I, I'll be Knucklehead, yeah. but, but but the stripes go on that <laughs> fucking Knucklehead. <laughs> Yo, you know, no, I just I just came up with the name and I'm like, I mean, it stuck. So it's now catchy. everybody yeah. everybody sees me, they call me that. So Sergeant. Wow. Sergeant. And how, Sergeant. How, how many Sergeant. followers do you have? Six hundred and thirty-six thousand. Oh, Lord. That's it takes some work. It's like some work. Yeah, it, it 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 requires some work. Like, but like, um, I'll like if I take like an hour at lunch at, at work, I, I knock out like three videos, and usually one one of those three videos goes viral. So it's 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 all about, and I make skits. So I'm just I just kind of go off the dome and uh -huh. come up with random shit. And it works. I mean, stuff that's involved because you're in the army. Army, right? Okay, so is is it stuff that like. That only army people would know on, know about, or is it things like it's, people that that aren't in the army want to know about, yeah, or is it's, it's kind of it's kind of both. It's kind of both. Yeah, so, okay. Um, it's it's kind of a combination. I'll do stuff that people in the army can relate to, and I do stuff that people outside of the army want to know about. Informative. Informative. Wow. Okay. okay, that's cool. That's different. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. we never seen that from. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, we're just not familiar. See, it, yeah, there's I mean, it, a lot of stuff going on in a lot of worlds that mm -hmm. you may not know about kind, until kind. you. Until you delve in there, but um, I kind of I kind of want to go back. I want to go back far. I want to mm -hmm. go back to the beginning. <laughs> What's um, that, right? I want to go back. I know. We, way we, back. We, we gotta go back, back in the time because you know people. Um, just to give people an understanding, right? I don't know. I don't know how much. I don't know. I, I, I know you probably know at least part of this story. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like, if we go all the way back, because he and I, of course, we have different mothers, mm -hmm. right? Got different moms, same pops. So. You know, my mom, I was telling you this story too before we got huh. here. So, so my mom, her mom died of cancer when she, my mom was 14. So after that, mind you, when my mom gets with, my mom's mom, my grandma gets with my grandpa, um, she already has like five, six kids from a previous marriage, right? And her, the, the Lincolns, they're Abraham Lincoln's like mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. um, she's got five, six kids. So she comes into the marriage with my grandpa with five and six kids, right? Um, so my, my mom is their, their only child. So, you know, her mom dies of cancer. She's kind of 14 in the house. Siblings that are only, you know, that come from a different guy. And it's all, it's all kind of strange, weird, um, you know, kind of politics going on. And she, she starts acting out. Mom just died, of course, at a pivotal stage in the girl's life. Um, and she ends up going to like a group home and the sister living for a time. Um, but her dad ends up getting her an apartment, right? At 14? At 16. This is now 16. Fast forward to 16. Her dad gets her her own apartment. Her and her homegirl now have their own apartment. At what, 16. what year is this kind of? What would you, would you say? 16, it had to be 88. 88. 1988. Okay. Yeah. All right. In 1988 in Tacoma, Washington. So, mind you, again, my, my mom's from Big Harbor. That's like you go over the bridge and you go. It's like a real nice white suburb of, mm -hmm. you know, where we from. So, now, going back also, she when she was in eighth grade, before Amanda, she used to take the bus to school. She went to a private school in the city. So, when she used to bus, used to be a little black kid on the bus, whatever. She started, this when she started liking black guys, mm -hmm. right? She started riding mm -hmm. this bus. This yeah. is his brother on the bus, right? Mm -hmm. 
Then her older brother, Bill, his wife was having an affair with her brother. So she would be over there watching the kids and bro would be coming through. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is where she's, she's starting to have this interest in black guys. <laughs> the it's, eyes of wonder. It's Bill. And, and, and when she saw me when I was like uh, two, three years old, uh -huh. that sparked her interest too. She because was like, she was living baby that like, looks like him. Like him. So mind you, th this and is... she ended up getting... Get with, with my pops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And getting me. Got you. So she gets that apartment. Her apartment is where him he's living with his mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So uh -huh. she's seeing him and she's seeing my pops. Yeah. Right? When he's going to see him when he's little in these apartments. And then like a year later she runs into my pops in the club and um <laughs> the, the so, rest is history. So, wait a minute. So, so your pops that, I didn't know about that. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. You didn't know like, that. There's shit that you like that you know that I didn't, I didn't like <laughs> I didn't even know that he existed until I was twenty one years old. <sighs> What? No, no, no. Time, bro. that's I didn't yeah. see. I was gonna ask you that. So I knew about my sister. I didn't know about Evan. I knew mm. about your, my, your my mom's, mom's. Your mom's kids. My mom had two girls after I got adopted. I knew about them. I didn't know I had. I didn't know who my dad was. I didn't know about my brothers or my sister from my dad until I was twenty one when I finally got in contact with my mom again, and she said, "This is your dad." Oh, by the way. You have siblings. <laughs> <Super food. laughs> like who? Said, so, so here's the fucked up part about it. Excuse my language. You good? You good? No, you no, good? No, you no, you good. Good. Listen, everything's flying, flying yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you only got what, we got fifty thousand people. We no. have emails right we now. We have emails we already coming in. Already for you. coming in right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just so, they know you're here. So, <laughs> just so I follow them real quick. So. You are the son of your mom's friend. No, no, no? they're not friends. No. She, she they, they lived in an apartment. No, though, no, right? no, no. They lived in the same apartment. My mom is in an apartment with her friend. Yeah. His mom has an apartment at the same place they have apartments at. Oh, it's oh. the same complex. It's the same complex. Okay, it's the same complex. your dad, man. Yeah, your that's dad, a, man. That's the nigga. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> your you know dad, I mean? that's man. That's the nigga right there. Right, 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 right. Did you get him on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotta get on. Yo, bro. Yeah. Oh my gosh! But yeah, like I didn't know about him. So, this is crazy. So, what happens is, um, whatever, my mom is a run to my dad in the club. Of course, my dad's a DJ, for anybody who doesn't know. Mind you, she already knows. She's already plotting on this nigga. She's been plotting on him. Because she already seen him and seen his pops. Yeah. She, I want one of those. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I want, I want one of those. Uh -huh. And I had a mullet. Had yeah, yeah, no, no, I remember I had the mullet. picture of you with the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> I was, my mom had never cut my hair. I had the yeah, like the curly mullet, but the curly. Mullet, curly but it's like, it looked, I'm they, a light skinned dude. It looked yeah. like, like a Jerry like, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked like a Jerry girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what's crazy is so whatever, boom, 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 whatever happens, they end up giving you up for adoption, right? How old was you? I was, I was, so I was four and a half or whatever, mm -hmm. and um, they were going to put me in foster care because my mom would leave me at a babysitter for months. Or she would take me to the strip club where she worked when I was little. So they were like, all right, well, we're going to send them to foster care. They ended up saying, all right, we're going to send you to your aunt and uncle in Pennsylvania for six months. See if your mom can get her shit straight. Mm -hmm. Six months turned into forever. Six months <laughs> turns into forever. I end up getting adopted. Shortly after that, my mom gets pregnant, has another kid. Yeah. And then after that, has another kid. And I'm like... Here that, I am. Like, what's going on? What's here? going on? Why? Why am I the? Why am, <laughs> why, I, why am I over here? <laughs> yeah, I'm over here in Pennsylvania, three thousand miles away. You were over there having other kids when you couldn't even raise me. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a uh, that's cold. That's gonna so, be tough. Yeah. So us, me, as far as me, and you know, my brother and sister, we always knew about him. We had a picture of him with the mullet. We we had that picture. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we knew about this guy, and um. It's funny because we used to be out and about in Tacoma, and you know my mom would be like, "Yeah, that's Sunny. Like that's Brandon's mom. That's your brother's mom. You know what I'm saying? We see her with her with her daughters. You know what I'm saying? And shit like uh -huh. we just like at like we'd be at Fred Meyer or something. You know what I mean? They'd be like, "Oh, there's you know, like Sunny. They would say hi to each other, whatever. It wasn't never no long conversation, but it was just like, yeah, that's your brother's mom. So did you ever try to like reach out or find out? No, I mean, you got to remember this is. Back in the time where we didn't have the internet like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what what was going on was my mom would send letters to me and my parents would keep them from me. Uh, of course. They were purposely doing story, that. <laughs> when I got older, um, I, I was putting laundry away in my parents' room or something and I found a whole stack of letters from my mom. The pictures and everything of my sisters, too, I never knew Just about. Just like the movies? Like, that's crazy. No, like, it's like, a movie. Like, 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 it's crazy. Dead ass, like, bro. 
And then one day I was like, man, I wonder if my dad's like famous. Turns out he kind of was. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like, mm-hmm. Crazy, but like he hits me up on Facebook. I get a friend request from him shortly after I go see my mom. And I'm like, who is this? <laughs> Who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> what was Man. his Facebook profile looking Yo, like? Yo, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> they had the braids. Oh, yeah, the braids. He was looking Hold cool. Hold was that the was one like, where you got the hat tilted back? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's that. <laughs> that's the one. I'm like, who the fuck is this? And then he messages me, and, and he, I'm like, oh, it's my brother. All right, cool. And then we started talking, and then shortly after that, we flew out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and yeah. Jim flew out. Yeah, uh-huh. And yeah, they flew out, and we, did, we kicked it. We kicked it. Yeah, so out there for like a week and a half. Like, I'm like, not gonna lie, yeah. bro. I I can't pass you off as a, as a Levi. It's crazy. Like when he what, first walked, like okay. no, when he first no, listen, walked, I, I'll tell you, Hunter Haitians look just like this nigga. Th- that's a cra- yeah. I, maybe I'm just not in the know, no, but like, like it, it, see, everybody has this picture of a Haitian. It's just this motherfucking yeah, dark skin person. Yeah, that's yeah. The it, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's like it's a car, like. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like I, I can see that just because my dad, you know, uh, my dad, uh, he was a marine mm-hmm. in Camp Pendleton, so th- I kind of just have that. Yeah. He kind of yeah. looks yeah, like, yeah, like exactly. a military guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, but so okay, so now mind you, this this was crazy. And I was saying this to him too because because we're about you and I are about five years apart, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is crazy because he's about five years apart mm-hmm. from me as well. And like, mm-hmm. I, the majority of my friends. Are probably about five years older. I'm your friend, right? He, it's, it's like barely. Let <laughs> <laughs> like, me like, barely. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, sides, you know, but I, I'm a friend. It, okay. It's crazy because, yeah. like, <clears throat> when I really think about it, like, damn, you know that that's to me. You know, the big brother was always kind of missing out of my life, mm-hmm. right? Always. So it's crazy to me that like I claved and I had so many because I always was a little bit more mature and shit. So I hung out with older people. Yeah. But like everybody I hung out with. Is my brother's age? You know what I'm saying? This whole time, even without me, know, because I didn't really. I knew you was older than me. I didn't know how much older. We knew you existed. We had the one picture of you, yeah. and then, um, you know, when you was like in high school, we had the picture of you, you know, with the blue shirt. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, we had that picture of you too. You just had that. Picture? Yeah, we got that picture. Yeah. How did you get that, bro? Picture? I don't. I don't even know. We just grandma. had it. Yeah, yeah. So, so before we go any further, mm-hmm. Grandma's the reason why there was any contact. Grandma's the reason I got adopted because Dad wouldn't answer his phone. They, my parents were you, you don't to say <laughs> to say, hey, we need you to sign over your rights, oh, so we can adopt this adopt kid. Him. Okay, okay. And he wouldn't. He wasn't returning phone calls. Mm-hmm. Grandma picked up the phone, called, called dad. Mm-hmm. Got him need, on the phone. You need to handle this right now. Mm-hmm. He handled it. I got adopted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that that's 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 crazy because I know I know my grandma told a story about you her him bringing you to the house. Mm-hmm. But not but saying that wasn't his was, kid. Yeah, yeah, Cause my grandma was like, man, who kid is that? He like, nah, that's that's her kid. He was afraid <laughs> yeah. of. Uh, He's afraid of grandpa, and it, it his fear is was illogical to me because I mean, he's not a kid though. He's yeah. he's in his twenties. Twenties. He's not like this. It wasn't a high school baby. No. The nigga's grown. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's still something I don't understand. But and it, he listen. He was so scared. I didn't meet my grandpa until I was six months old. When I was six months old, he just showed up at the house and just handed me to him. I remember grandma telling me. And he that. just said, my grandpa said, who is this Korean baby? Because <laughs> you, you look at my baby pictures, yo, I kind of look like an Asian. He was like, yo, you know who is this Korean baby? You know what's funny is that Michaela, they say she's Korean. Yeah, yeah. This, because she's got the, 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 her but, eyes. But then look at Rachel. Yeah. All of me, Rachel, yeah. and Michaela, it's the same thing. Exactly. Like, we look similar. You see exactly. what I'm saying? But it's, then you see Jordan. Jordan and Ari. If you, if you, and Evan. Identical. And Evan. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our, 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 our genetics is is is, uh, is pretty crazy. But, yeah, we always knew about him um, for sure. Uh, and um, so, but let's go. You had some? Yeah, I wanted to ask. ask cause what, was, what was that first day where you actually got to meet him? And yeah, I'm that's sure what you, I wanted to know. You met oh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let, let, that plays, let, plays in my head. Let's not let's not jump right. We are gonna get there. We are gonna get there. We, I thought that was okay. You know, no, it's a great that, question. I, I, yeah, I, just, I really wanted to know that. I just don't want to jump because we got question. there's years. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> we're I got jumping you. over, okay. right? So okay. what was what was bumfuck Pennsylvania like? Yeah, living uh, in Pennsylvania. The <laughs> fuck Pennsylvania. I've been in Pennsylvania. I'm that shit ready. sucks. It's, it's, bro, try living there. For, <laughs> Ever. Uh, I'm straight. Twenty fucking years. Uh, <laughs> bro, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. I really do. The only reason I am there is because I have teenage kids obviously that i need to be there for absolutely when they when they are graduated 
Actually, two to three years, I'm gone. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Cali. Oh. You want to go back? Well, he's not back. He's I'm not, not from there. I mean, I mean you want to... Uh, yeah, okay, con. So We're not from so there. Yeah, okay, okay. My, my wife is from Cali. She's from Southern California. She, uh... Hoover Valley. So she, yes. Yeah, Where? Not, not Ocean No, Valley. I know that. Yeah, LA to me, yeah, 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 yeah. She's from the Valley. Mm-hmm. And she, she joined the military, and that's how we met. Um, but my in-laws are there. We have a kid together, um, Dominic, and he's their only grandkid. So it's like, we want to move yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, I got you. Can. And plus, I like Cali. I like it out there. So that's why I want to move out there. So... You, you get to bumfuck Pennsylvania, right? Like, like <laughs> this let's is, not get off that. So they, this <laughs> is like, so wait, 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 and I have a question, like, too, because you go, you're like four and a half, right? You get adopted. Yep. Do you, do you have any recollection of pops though, at all? None. None. There's okay. None, there's none there. It's crazy. Like, I have only memories I have of when I was a kid was the bad ones. There's really no good ones. Okay. And I don't have any memories of dad. Because I'm, I mean, I, only, I, I, I don't know how how often he spent how often he was coming or, around. You I don't deal. know. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, I didn't know who my dad was mm-hmm. until I like I was twenty one. That is crazy. So, you, my parents knew. They, they, and they that's knew what's, that's what yeah. has me so still to this day has me mind blown. I don't talk to them anymore. Mm-hmm. We had a falling out, and they they haven't even met Dominic. They never asked about Dominic. Which was what, what really made me end it with my parents. Mm-hmm. He was born. I sent pictures. Nothing, nothing to do with their grandkids. And, and when you say your parents, you're, you're, the ones who raised you, the one who raised you. Yeah, my aunt, okay. My aunt, my uncle. So my my adopt the the woman that adopted me is my real mom's sister. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. I knew they were related. I didn't know that though. Yeah. Well, okay, go ahead. What was it like? You said when you was like doing laundry or something, you found the stack of envelopes. Mm-hmm. Like, can you take us through? You f- doing you find that and then what oh. proceeded afterwards? Did you just run, run to the room and start reading them type thing? I did, yeah, yeah, because my parents weren't home, mm-hmm. so I was putting laundry away, which I usually don't do. <laughs> it always happens like that. Kids snooping. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little something. Snooping. Let me see what's I need going to, on. There's something I'm gonna find. <laughs> yeah. I found that, and it was in Damn. my mom's top drawer, and it was like a stack like this, and there was pictures in there too, and I was pissed, and I was I was real young when I found them, and. I didn't know how to approach my parents about it. And I just asked them, what's this? And they were like, oh, we've been keeping it from you because when I first got adopted, the first couple of years, my mom would call mm-hmm. and I would answer the phone and she would be like, oh, they stole you from me, da 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 So my parents wow. were like, all right, we're not doing this, da 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 cutting it off. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that they just kept the letters and everything. I get I so I get them trying to protect, you know what I mean. At least they but, didn't get rid of them though. Yeah, but like they kept so much. I was twenty one and I still didn't know. Like you think at some point they would tell me what the fuck was going. Yeah, like, when like they, the they, maybe they're waiting. You would think like let me wait till he's an adult. Yeah. Twenty one, you're old or, enough. You're uh, been uh, old uh, enough. Uh, uh, at, at least till high school. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? right. And, you know you begin to able to process. Some that's shit. crazy, bro. That's yeah. a, it's like the Harlem Godfather. I don't know. I know you no, guys watch, but the same thing was going God, on. Harlem Godfather Harlem. Same, same shit. Same <laughs> shit. The Harlem Godfather. That's a gang now. Yeah, 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 the yeah, Godfather. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It was it was nuts, but. They, they like to this day we don't we don't even talk. Mm. So here's my question because his 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 father was was given up for adoption. Mm-hmm. Um, different, c- kind of similar circumstances. Yeah, like my to grandma, be my grandma was a, well she was uh in similar fields. Said, <laughs> work work fields. Work, work fields. She wasn't a um, stripper. She, she didn't dance. She didn't dance. <laughs> she was she was getting a little bit more but, further than that. Right, she was right. doing. Well, my mom was too. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know. Yeah. yeah. She yeah, was a, uh, what's it, I'm trying to think of a. a, a <laughs> she was a lady of the night. That's what a they lady, said. A lady, a lady of the, of the night. night. <laughs> That's, That's a good one. That's she good was one. a lady of, a, yeah. of the night. Yeah. And then, but no, but even your pops, how old was he, like six? About six years old, yeah. Six, and it was kind of like neglect, and they kind of pawned her off, mm-hmm. pawned him off on her grandma, and he had all, she had all the grandkids, and she mm-hmm. just, she just let him go, type mm-hmm. deal. You know what I'm she saying? She let my dad go. Let, let, Cause he was the youngest. He was the youngest, let mm-hmm. dad go. They move and they end up moving to Oregon, Eugene, Oregon. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of similar, but but in the case of, um, because I know some people like, okay, some people who are in that situation, they're like, hey, my biological parents, fuck them. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To hell with them. Yeah. They gave me up. They didn't mm-hmm. want me. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to meet them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Was, yeah. Yeah. That's how it's possible. Mm-hmm. How how would, did you look at it? All right, so that's a good question. Um, so when I first met my mom, or saw my mom for the first time in however many years, um, I was just happy because I finally got I, I finally got to see her. Some closure. There yeah. was some closure there. Then when that subsided... I think I hit reality sunk in, mm. and I'm like, this bitch just ditched me. <laughs> like, she just, she she had two other kids, one of which is around the same age as me. Mm-hmm. And it was like, you were okay to raise them, but you couldn't raise me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, but with that, and she, and for the long, and up until this day, she still basically doesn't take blame for anything. <laughs> Okay, she's got accountability problems. I think that's what is the most, the hardest part. Like, just accept the fact you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Dad, 100% kept it real. I was young. I was scared. Okay, you kept it real. You know you fucked up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And Dad, let's be honest. Like, he's, I think since Grandma passed, Mm -hmm. he's been more open. Oh, yeah. Especially since now we have this group chat Mm -hmm. going on, he talks to me more. Mm Mm-hmm. And I, th- I don't know if he's just, like, nervous, intimidated, whatever it is. He's just, he's slowly starting to, to open up more. I just mm-hmm. want to have a relationship with the dude. Honestly. Of course, of course. Um, I, what happened is, is he he accepted it. He was real with me. Mm-hmm. He didn't my run mom from it. Still, Excuse it. <laughs> my mom still hasn't grown up. And that's what upsets me. <laughs> at, at, at what? How old is she She's now? 54 years old. <laughs> it's still like, I actually oh. like meeting your dad for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was really cool. Like that, that so it was different when I met my mom than when I met you and and that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know why, but it was I had a much better experience when I met you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, we like, let you remember what we did? We played ball right yeah, outside the house. Yeah, uh-huh. So we like, Dad picked me and my 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 wife at the time up at the airport, and uh, we went and picked. He got us a rental car. They had us like we had a uh, house too. Mm-hmm. He gave us a house, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. one of their vacation homes, mm-hmm. and but we went to the house and me and Christian and him played ball. Um, Evan was there with us, and it was I had that was one of the best trips I had. We just we all hit it off. Um, it was a good time. And Dad, he was only there for a couple of days because he had yeah, he had to go, uh, had to, go, go, to, work. go to Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a, Damn, yeah, he was going to Japan. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, to Japan time. for a show, but wow. yeah, it was a good time. It was a good experience for me. Um, like I said, I think the experience with my dad and my my brothers and my sister from my dad is different. I don't know why. No, but here, here, I don't know why. Here's the here's the deep part to it. I'm gonna give it right mm-hmm. to you. Here's the deep part to it though. So, right around the time when we met you, this is when I'm first learning about you know all this Hebrew Israelite stuff. This is when I'm first learning this stuff. Yeah, I remember. And and I'm you know there. So since I was little, right, dad. Or grandparents, they always, you know, you are what your father. They always told me you are what your father. Your dad's black, you're black, you know, stuff like that, right? So whatever. But this is, is that same thing is being said here, but like, there's like a spiritual aspect to it that's being applied. Like right. you, like you don't understand. Like this is a spiritual thing. It's not just so much your father is determining your ethnicity or anything like that. Like no, there's a spiritual aspect to this to where how a family is knit together mm-hmm. type of thing, right? So I'm 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 downloading this, I'm processing this information, and then boom, now we're getting to meet you, right? And you know, us, <laughs> you know, we grew up in Tacoma on the hilltop and then we moved to Southern California, things like that. So we have, you know, been around certain stuff. Yeah. Right? You you're growing up in rural PA, right? So so on paper, we probably shouldn't even have anything in common. Yeah. On paper, mm-hmm. right? We probably shouldn't hit this off. But here we are, boom, and I remember we was we was at the the, the house in Carlsbad. And we was all kicking it, having a good old time, and that's and mind you, this is in my head because I'm learning this stuff, and it's hit me like yeah, as you go on it's, a slide, we yeah. all we're coming out of the same, you know, lineage. You know, it no, you could have dropped us off any fucking where in the world, yeah. we're going to be the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. we all are really coming from the same thing. There's no, it's unavoidable. Like even when I just went out there um, for for uh, his oldest daughter's graduation party. You know, boom, I'm over there kicking it with his youngest son, Alex, who I ain't seen since he was, I changed the nigga diaper. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and 
he's all he got is Kyrie's in the closet. That's it. And I'm like, nigga, that's I got so many guys. Like, that's my shit. It's Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I didn't have a conversation with him. Hey, go. Yeah. You should go get some. You know, and not that you know, Kyrie shoes are dope, but everybody doesn't wear Kyrie. No. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the colorways. It's shit, different. Like, it's, yeah. it's different type. Of, so just just just, this, just the, the similarities that are there, you know, in the stock. Um, it's a uh, uh, it's, it's crazy, man. That's why you said, like, for, for whatever reason, you just had such a better experience with us so, than, you know, anybody so else. Let's talk about, I'm, I'm going to jump some years. Yeah. Let's talk about this last experience last last summer for, okay. grandma, for Grandma's funeral. Grandma's funeral, yeah, yeah. which is <laughs> the biggest deal in, in the history of our family. Honestly, mm -hmm. honestly. As far as what, everybody coming together? Everybody coming together. Everybody coming there, together. There was not a, there's not a time... Where you can tell me everybody was together, no, everybody. other than that time. And guess what? There was still somebody missing. You know, we were going to talk about that. But somebody was still missing, right? But pretty much everybody was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. It was. I still can't believe that nigga didn't show up. I, I can't even. Bro, like, is, your, your pot, is it Shapat? No, 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 no hell no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's my. No. And what's funny is I just did this video on the Twenty One Savage situation, right? And I was saying in the video, you know, this it, it, it this should be a uh, not Twenty One Savage. What Twenty One Savage said about takeoff and takeoff being a sacrifice, but like a sacrifice to teach people a lesson about kind of valuing people. And now these guys weren't talking, and then boom, he he gets killed. And now it's like, and you guys were on outs with each other, and now he's dead. Now you can never talk to him. Yeah. Again, so we put it in perspective, and then I ended up going on a rant in the video, talking about <laughs> our cousin, and I'm like, it's crazy because you know I remember the day I hit up my little sister Evan, and I said, "Damn, like Noah doesn't fuck with me. I, I don't, I don't understand. I've, I don't even, I've never had enough of a conversation with him or had enough interactions with him to even for him to have Not any issue yeah. with me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like." What? <laughs> I don't, we, you know what I'm saying? We don't, we saw each other when we was younger. And like, since we've been grown, I've ran into him once or twice. You know what I'm saying? Here mm -hmm. and there. Not even a lot. So I really, it was really confusing to me how like, huh. he's operating like yeah. this. But if I really look at it, he was making excuses and not talk to his dad. Because he didn't like his dad's wife. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that was crazy. So he... He wasn't there, and his wife and his kids, you yeah, know, they, they weren't there. there. But but everybody else, everybody else, everybody else was there. I mean, other than my kids, because they were they were they were uh, they weren't able to come. But um, Noah was not there, and I was just like, why? I talked to Rachel, and she's like, yeah, I don't. I'm, she was mad too. I mean, I talked to Rachel mm -hmm. pretty often, but so the that just that in general. So the so I flew out to Washington for a few days. We went to, the, we had the funeral. I was staying with, with my sister from my mom. Mm -hmm. And that experience was probably the worst experience I've had with my sisters the entire time I've, I've spent time with them because um, we ended up after grandma's funeral. I told you about this. I, don't, I mean, I might not have. I told Evan. So after grandma's funeral, uh, I met up with my sisters and we went they, they took me out we went to a couple spots oh say. yeah yeah I remember you and then we end up I, I end up inviting some people that I knew to come out with us and they end up coming back with me and my sisters it was a big military town yeah, yeah yeah so they were like uh, they, they they had followed me on TikTok and I uh, I followed them so I was like yeah let's you all can come have, have a drink with us so we end up going to my sister's house my sister my one sister whom I honestly can't stand. I can't. <laughs> and I hope she knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's, on That's on the table. That's on the table. Yes. Mm -hmm. She ruined that night completely because we were, we're all having a drink. We're just trying to just, and I'm just trying to be like, all right, like today was a rough day. Mm -hmm. I just want to drink. So my sister has a sign in the front of her house. that says Black Lives Matter. Cool. Virtue signal. Mind you, just so y'all understand, his sisters, they're white all the way. They don't have a black dad like us. <laughs> yeah, they're white. <laughs> they're white. <laughs> Why they okay, okay. He's a white girl. Yeah, okay, so you okay, can understand. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. You know what? It, right. is what it, it is what it is. is what but it just is. for context. Yeah, yeah. So she's a white okay. girl, Black Lives Matter yes. sign. So okay. The virtue thinks, signal sign. Uh -huh. She thinks that now we owe her something. And I said, all right. So we start talking, we're drinking, everything's cool. She starts talking about, oh, who'd you vote for? Oh. Who'd you vote for? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> One dude says Trump. Other dude says Trump. And that starts this huge battle, right? Okay. I said, yo, one thing you do not talk about when you were drinking is it's politics. politics. 
<laughs> Recipe for disaster. This is gonna end badly. Religion and politics. Yeah, it just, just never go. Just leave it. Yeah. Oh, well, Let's talk sports. Yeah. Let's talk sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even that is. Even that can yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just yeah. nothing. That Depending on who you're talking to. Over. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And it just gets goes south quick. And she starts talking about, oh, I have this Black Lives Matter sign in front of my house, so I matter. And I've experienced racism. Da, 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 da. And I'm oh like, yeah, she's white. This white girl. Said, she's, yes. white. she's white. <laughs> she's, she's white. She's white. She's <laughs> white. I said that I lost my shit. I said, "What are you talking about?" And she's like, "Yeah, I've experienced racism. I know what it's about." And I'm like, "You don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know I can fucking, fucking tell you right now." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "I have grown up being called this. Your dad, who was my mom's boyfriend at the time, we'll go back now. We're gonna okay. backtrack. <laughs> there we go." <laughs> My mom's boyfriend, when I was, before I got adopted, white dude, rock rock band, punk rock band, mm -hmm. he called me peanut butter boy, he poured nail polish, acrylic nail polish remover down my chest, I had a scar from here to my dick, Yeah. wow, he did a lot of fuck, he made me drink beer when I was little. Did all kinds of shit, and I remember this stuff. And my mom did not. That's what you said. That's what you said. I have the bad, the bad memories I got. Yeah. So, and my 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 sister denies that of too. Course. I'm like, because yeah, you were there. Yeah. You, know what I mean? you, know what I mean? <laughs> you would so, know. So, like, I said, you have no idea about racism. I'm in the military, and racism is a thing. In the military, yeah, for sure. It's a it's a thing. It's a thing. I said, like, mili like racism is a thing, but you you know nothing about it, and don't act like because you have a. Black Lives Matter <laughs> sign in front of your fucking house. In Washington. In Washington. <laughs> that I'm going to kiss your ass because, like, <laughs> oh, I owe you the world because you have this sign. You don't know shit. <laughs> yeah, and then it yeah. got worse, and we left, mm -hmm. and she hasn't talked to me since. Wow. She sent my daughter a message, Michaela, a mm -hmm. message about, oh, you should try this, going to this college, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I said, Michaela, won't respond to that shit. <laughs> she don't fuck, know what fuck, she's fuck, fuck what she's talking about. She works about. in wow. a warehouse making minimum wage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's a, that's a good person to take yeah, a fucking yeah, advice yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. You focus on you. Don't yeah. listen to what she's doing. I said I never went to college. Mm -hmm. I joined the military because, I mean, I worked a warehouse till I was twenty. Yeah, I remember the warehouse. And then yeah. I joined. Yeah, because you were you yeah were, came. You came to ship. Yeah. So, but then I decided to join the army, and honestly, despite the bullshit, it was the best choice I made for my for my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it gives you stability. Exactly. It teaches you. It made it grew. It made me grow up. Discipline. Too. And yeah, discipline. And it gave me a full time job, and I pay pays well. So, I mean, I deal with the bullshit just so I can. I you and you you ain't been deployed. No. No. No deployments. Hey, hey, wow. If, and you been for how long? If you can skate without 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 yeah. deployment, guess yeah. what? You yeah. Know, you're gonna have a good time. Yeah. So so, yeah, so you got in what? Two thousand and. I got in two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So like what happened? Like so I enlisted two thousand twelve. Um, and then I went to basic right before, like, right before two, uh, 20, 2013. Mm -hmm. So what happened was I got to this unit, my first unit, National Guard unit. I was with them for eight years. And right before, right when I left, they deployed to Egypt. So I missed that deployment. Mm -hmm. And like, all Egypt? that was was a peace peacekeeping mission with Israel. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they were all drinking anyway, so it really isn't a deployment. Yeah, okay, okay. The unit I'm in now was supposed to go to uh, Poland. Ended up not Ooh, mm. That was a good mm. mission. Mm. They, 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 they sent that missile today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, ended up, they ended up canceling canceling that. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's they might go to they might go somewhere else. I'm, okay. I can't really. Say okay, we're going okay, of course, of course. But now it's going to change, mm -hmm. and I'm going recruiting, so it's probably not going to happen for me. And when you go recruiting. You don't, you don't deploy. deploy exactly because your job, right? Your job is recruitment. As much as I would love to deploy, mm -hmm. I can't leave my wife with Dominic for a whole year by herself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, I, so like if I can, so I got two questions, especially that one you just said. You said you would love to deploy, but so I, I, I've been watching. Like I don't know if it was on Instagram or TikTok, but like there's people going around that are in the military, whether it be I want to say maybe the army, maybe, and. I know you've seen this, but they're going around, like, there's a guy going around on camera, and he's asking every single guy in the barracks, like, hey, if you could say one thing to your recruiter right now, what would you say? <laughs> hey, hey, fuck you. <laughs> Suck my dick. You fucking lie. Like, all this shit, right? Honest. So, and I, I kind of understand. I'm not going to divulge it yet, but I kind of understand why you're here now. But if you can, if you're even allowed to, can you speak on that? Because it, from my standpoint and from my viewpoint, it seems like, 
A lot of motherfuckers are like, mad. That sounds like anti, like an yeah. anti recruiting. Yeah, you know exactly. Right. It looks so like. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> let me break it down for you. Okay. So the military is, it's. I enjoy it, right? Some, so the younger generation, I'm gonna say that mm. the younger generation of soldier now is different. Okay. And they're they're they complain a lot. There's a lot of complaining going on. That's in everything. The younger generation is complaining. Everything. Okay. Yeah. 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 What do they call you? Is he is it Gen X? Is that what they are? No. No. It's Generation Z. Gen Z. Oh, Generation Z. Yeah. Okay. Millennials. Gen Z. Gen X. Yeah. Right. So we're talking about the worst niggas. But no, honestly, there are recruiters that lie. There are recruiters that lie to you because they, at the end of the day, the recruiter has to get their quota. They have to get two soldiers in a month. If they don't get that, they're in trouble. So soldiers will complain about it. There's a lot of unhappy soldiers. Nobody wants to join the army right now. Yeah, I mean, it's I would. Very, it's very unfortunate because the army has a lot to offer. Um, it's just right now all people see is negativity going on. And now that you have social media. Oh, yeah. Literally, it highlights everything. Nothing is a secret. Nothing. Did, have you seen any of this stuff, like any of the social media posts that the Ukrainian soldiers and the Russian soldiers have been doing? I saw I saw one a while ago. But Bro, not recently. Listen, the shit I've seen, it's, it, I mean, it's just nuts. Like, I'm not going to lie. And then if, shot no, if, yeah, if I was if I was overseeing arms forces for any country, niggas ain't having phones. I'm gonna be real with you. You niggas ain't have phones. No. People don't need to see this shit. If you want people to come, <laughs> cut that shit out. Exactly. exactly. And that's why, like, the social media. They came out with this new social media policy. Policy, okay. Because there's soldiers posting things that they really shouldn't be posting. Yeah, like Being dumb on, like, bro, use your head. You end up getting kicked out of the military because you post something stupid that you know you're not supposed to supposed to post. Mm-hmm. It's like I've been posting sh- social media or content for two and a half years. Mm-hmm. I've gotten in trouble once, wow. and that was almost two years ago. So, so, that was early on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, so I, so um, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I literally like you. You as long as you do not disrespect the uniform or or talk negative about it. You're good. Don't mm-hmm. talk politics while in uniform. Mm-hmm. Um, don't talk about sexuality while in uniform. Mm-hmm. Those are religion. The yeah. Those are yeah. uniform. That is it. Really, that's that's the rules you need to go by. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. So why is it good? Because my dad was in the military. He's in the Marines. I didn't meet my dad till I was ten, but. I remember one of the first things he told me because you know I'm from Oceanside, right? Yep. You know, same place. You know, down. Yeah, yeah. He, he visited. That's yeah. where he visited. Oh, okay, con. Yeah, yeah. So he was telling me like. And my brothers, like, don't ever come to the military. I knew better anyway. I didn't like the motherfuckers anyway because these are still all the girls. Yeah, no, no, you know, yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? But I, Marines, I, no, yeah, when yeah. we grow up in Ocean, yeah. when we go to Ocean Side, bro, like the Marines in Ocean Side, yeah. it's like its it, own game. Yeah, yeah no, like, exactly. You got, you it's got the, the Crips, us against them. The Bloods, the Essays, and, and the then, like, yeah. we all go, we don't we, like, like the Marines. Like them motherfuckers <laughs> right there. We hate them. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it, welcome, welcome to like, I can't you, you, don't, you know what I'm saying? But like, no, and why, not the not the different branches. Be no. Yeah. <laughs> why, why? Why is it good? Like why? Like okay. Okay. You're here for a certain reason. Like, what would you tell a kid? What would you tell Hassad? Right? Yeah, t- try to try to. Well, like, what would you recruit tell him? This nigga. Yeah, recruit, recruit him. That was what, one of my questions. Yeah, too. what would you say to this guy? <laughs> in, 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 in the high, high, in the height of everything right, that's right. going on right now. So I'm in high school. Say, and you come to class. Right. The biggest, ROTC. the biggest, <laughs> you're in ROTC. Yeah, ROTC, the right? The military is um, the fact that so guard, national guard. I'm trying to recruit you, national guard. Right. I'm not even worried about active duty because fuck active duty. Mm-hmm. Um, is the fact that they pay, they will help if you wow, if you have some career you want to choose in your life. Say you want to be a doctor. Right. How are you going to pay for that if you don't if you don't have parents? that are able to help you pay for it, or if you do have parents, but they don't have the money to pay for you. How do you plan on paying to get yourself through medical school? I'm going to get a, a scholarship. You can get a scholarship? Yeah. What if you don't get a scholarship? I'm getting a scholarship. Okay, that's great. That's motivation. <laughs> that's great. But right. that I like this. Happen, okay? <laughs> Realistically. I, I, I like that, right. but let's be realistic, all right? So bottom line is this. The, the, the National Guard mm-hmm. alone has... Three different ways to help pay for you for college. They have tuition assistance. They have MFEP, which is new. They have GI Bill that basically will pay for any college you want within your state. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you are here in Atlanta, basically any, if it's not, I, 
as long as it's not a private school. Because my daughter's going to a private school right now. Any state college. Yeah, if she's she's going to a private school, so they only, it's only paying for half of it, which mm-hmm. is fine. It's like twenty grand, and we they paid for ten of it. Mm-hmm. And then you pay monthly, whatever. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. But you got the GI Bill, which you can transfer if you have kids, mm-hmm. right? And you don't use that GI Bill, and you have kids. That GI Bill will then, after ten years being in the National Guard, will pay. Or three years if you're deployed, a couple times will pay for your kids college mm. so there's perks to that there's free insurance which is huge if you if if you are agr now which is tricare um you get a chance to build a career in the army there's so many different opportunities as far as jobs go like I'm a, i was a mechanic i didn't know anything about being a mechanic i learned how to be a mechanic within a couple of years of doing the job and i loved it and then I switch jobs. There's so many different opportunities in the army. Well, not not just the army, military in general. You could do Navy, Navy uh, Marines, Air Force, whatever you wanted to do. But if you chose the army, there are so many jobs you could do, and you're going to meet great people along the way. So um, you also get bonuses. <laughs> I just hear it. There's also you get 20k, 30k, 40k bonuses depending on what MOS you choose. So isn't the opportunity me getting blown up too, though? <laughs> um, right now, no. So here's an honest question, though, because if I was a high schooler, one of those things would have definitely piqued my interest. So you said, what if, hypothetically, I'm in Georgia, I'm going to high school in Atlanta, but I want to go to Harvard. So what, would I be able to then, let's say I hypothetically moved to, was it Massachusetts? Mm-hmm. And could so I enlist in the National the Guard there, and they would pay for Harvard? They would pay, they would pay for it. Man. What's his obligation? What's his obligation? Your obligation would be for three to four years of however long you're in that school, you would need to serve. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it would be one week in a month, two weeks out of the year. It wouldn't be full time. It would be you show up Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a drill, you go home. And then the next month, you do it again. And then one weekend or two weeks out of the summer, you go to annual training. It's really so at any point. At any point, if I don't, I don't know if shit gets real or not. Could they say, "Hey, we need you, and you have to come"? Yes. So they will. So be in National Guard. So you will not. You will get called for natural disasters, riots. So when I was like with the the Washington, the stuff that happened in D.C., the Mm -hmm. riots, Mm -hmm. I got called there for like a month, uh, and just pulling guard. Uh, Philly, when the riots happened there, we were called there. So, like, you'll get called for that stuff. It doesn't happen very often. Right. Like, this past couple years have been... It's, it's just been, been crazy. Yeah. Yeah. The, usually, it's like a snowstorm. Like a <laughs> we're snow coming out there to help. And you sit in an armory waiting for something to happen that never happens. <laughs> yeah. what, was, right. what was your, like... Um, like, I remember, like, on ESPN, they have, like, the welcome to the NBA moment where, like, a rookie will try to guard Kobe or something. <laughs> and just get, get left. He'll get dunked on, but <laughs> welcome to the NBA. Yeah. What What was your welcome to the to the Army moment? Um, basic training. What, what was that like? Basic training is, it's it's exhilarating. Is it really, like, it's full metal jacket? Like, it's, you it's, piece of shit, motherfucker! It's not, <laughs> so, it's not as bad as it used to be. Back then, it was bad because mm-hmm. drill yeah. sergeants could hit you yeah. and not get in trouble for it. Now, from what they're saying, now drill sergeants can't even really yell at you. <laughs> they have rights. See, no, no, because niggas, are, but right, niggas are crying though. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, but but but, that, X, but but see, but this the thing though because so what what your dad told y'all? Yeah, my grandpa said to my pops, but not just because like you because my <laughs> have you my, seen Formula Jones? Of course, bro. So, come on, <laughs> but but so my so my pops he just has he was a little bit defiant to his dad. So that's why his dad said, "You don't want, you don't, to yeah. Army, nigga. It's gonna be bad for you because <laughs> they're gonna go. fuck your ass up. Yeah. You, know? you know what I mean? Yeah. And, but the thing is, if we just go back, right, and and we, we now, yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons with everything, right? So if we go back to, you know, mid 1900s, um, you know, let's say 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, <clears throat> especially 50s to the 70s, right? A lot of these black communities were built. From GI bills, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of people like where we're from. We're only from there <laughs> because our grandfather went into the army, yes. mm-hmm. right? Grandma, you see what I'm saying? Or it's so much. It, it happens so much. So a lot of stuff. So those GI bills, they did a lot. But also, it, 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 it going to Vietnam and going to fucking World War Two and Korea. That also fucked a lot of people up. It also got a lot of people 
strung out on the so so for, for some people it, the shit worked well. Mm-hmm. For some people, it it derailed them. Um, yeah, it was bad. Like, it it was bad. Like even they say, Agent Orange exposure contributed to our grandpa's heart attack that killed him. You bro. see what I'm saying? The Agent Orange from dealing with Vietnam. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. so it's it definitely goes both ways. I, I'm glad you hitting on that because you know what? I, I'm gonna put you on the spot real quick because that's my job. Mm. You know I don't get it. I that's just I, I, I just do it. I just the emails come in. I gotta ask. A question. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask the question. So there's a reason why I wore this hat. Right, the NFL. Okay, you know I I play I I represented a different shield, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So my buddy, <laughs> my buddy, um, who I play with, great friend of mine. Um, I I didn't know him at first, but I knew of him. But he played for the Chargers. That's when we first came in contact, like literally, physically, we was dog physically fighting. Contact. Physically, <laughs> he was guarding me, and then we became great friends in Buffalo when I played for the Bills. But he he started this uh this program is called Vet Twenty Two. Have you ever heard of it? I think so. It's big. His dad was a, a war veteran. Um, you know, I think he was a, a, a major. I, I don't know what it was. But the reason why he started it, because he, he told me that, I guess, VET 22 stands for Veteran 22. And I guess every 22, 22 minutes, every 22 minutes a, soldier, a soldier dies. Yeah. Wow. Whether right? By, like, normal death or suicide. Right. So, to 22 is 22 a day. Is also is a big thing too. Like mm-hmm. twenty two soldiers a day commit suicide. God. Damn. So when you start, it, it just kind of brought me back. You, you remember them? Was it, is it them? The show that came out on Amazon Prime. Yes. The greatest show of all time. Mm. You remember? Remember they was in the South. Mm-hmm. Experienced racism in the South. They fled to Compton, right? And that's when Compton was still white. You remember that? You you remember watching that show? Uh, that, that if, show if was, I see it, if, you know I'll, I'll if, remember. If you ain't seen it, nigga, go watch it. It's on okay. Amazon Prime. Okay, but he was the pops was going through from being in World War Two. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying during that time. So you know that that's a, a big thing, right? Yeah, president, I mean, there's a lot of yeah, movies and yeah. Film about I, I, I I bring that up because you know just getting real, like so. Even when it comes to recruiting, and if you have a smart young man such as Assad, and he's inquiring about those things, like. It seems like to me that after leaving the armor, or army or, or the military forces on whatever kind of field you go on, it's just not good for you when you leave unless you stay in there. Like, a lot of people are dying. So a lot, a lot people, well, he spoke about the National Guard, though. That's not Well, so, I, I'm so just talking about... In ge- it's in general, though. Yeah, so like... It doesn't matter if it's Guard or not. So, so people, when you get out of the Army or any military branch, your life changes. You've experienced... This, this lifestyle that you're used to for however many years. Mm-hmm. And for like me, it's 10. Others, it's a, a little, maybe less. Others, it's 20, 30 years. Mm-hmm. And then they get out and it's it's nothing like what they're used to. And they sit there and they're thinking about all the stuff they went through, they've been through, the deployments they've been through, and they handle it. They start drinking or drugs and it kind of just... It's worse. Yeah, and he was telling me, I mean, like, I mean, they, they, it, it basically, and it's pretty cool, he, he created an app where it's basically, like, its own network of people. To Support where you, system. It's, exactly. You jump mm-hmm. on this app, there's all different fields and areas, so, like, if you have a problem with alcoholism, you mm-hmm. can jump in this chat room. Mm-hmm. If you just need somebody to talk to, like, there's that. So he created a, a network of uh, 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 people to where you can have... I guess e- you can have an outlet for each yeah. kind of problem you have, mm-hmm. right? Suicide, which is, huge, huge. Mm-hmm. which is huge, which is huge. And, uh, you know, when he was telling me about it, I just thought, and then we have you here, I'm just like, man, like, I, I just wouldn't want to join the military, man, because it seems like even even our old war veterans, I mean, I, I know probably policies have changed since then and things have gotten better since then, but it just seems like it's not good for them. It's, it's, it's and, I, and, I, and rightfully so, I get that, um, and I can't sit here and say that it's all. <laughs> all, all like, do we take care of our vets? Um, like, we praise. And that's that's something that I feel like more vets are trying to do. Yeah. Um, because nobody else will do it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of homeless vets out there mm-hmm. that nobody wants to take care of. Um, and mental health is a very serious issue in the military, which is why I make videos about that. Um, I spread awareness for it, and I'm trying to do this this ruck march uh, to help mm-hmm. uh, with mental health 
and also for like to get food for people who families of vets who do not have the money to buy food for the holidays. So like I'm I'm trying to do what I can, but the, I, only one person one person can only do so much. Exactly, you need support. There's a lot of people that are trying to make a difference, and they are. There's mm. there's difference being made, but I think this this whole TikTok thing has really helped as well because now you have this whole veteran community that they're watching these videos, and I've had people reach out to me and say, "Hey, Jacoby, you 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 helped me. Like I was in a dark place. I had a gun to my mouth." I watch your videos, and I don't. I don't want to kill myself anymore. Mm, that's real. That stuff hits me. Like, all right, this is why I need to keep doing what I do. That's right. Absolutely. Because you're making a difference. You. I may not. I, there's times where I'm like, I'm just making videos, mm -hmm. but you're not because now you're reaching. I'm reaching 600, and however many thousand followers, and it's like, I'm making a difference somewhere. Absolutely. Even Absolutely. if it's one person, that's, it's it's good. Absolutely. Um, but like you were talking about like World War Two and Viet Vietnam, Vietnam all right? Vietnam. So those soldiers, they were a different breed. Mm -hmm. They were a different breed of soldier. World War Two, D Day. Mm -hmm. the Storming the Normandy? beach of yeah. Normandy, Normandy, right? Yeah, that's fucking literally it. knowing they were gonna get mowed down by German machine gun fire. It's a different type of nigga, man. <laughs> and they just took it. You watched that movie Saving Private Ryan. Oh, yeah. That's, that's literally that, how that, it Yeah, that's down. real. And it's like, you you tell soldiers now that they, it, to do that, do you think that they're going to do it? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Man, what? Me out there. See, I will uh, leave. But, I will leave. No, but now, listen. Obviously, let's, let's, <laughs> what, like, fighting style is different. It's now. different now. Military you know theory how, is different. how war has, has, battle has changed throughout Drastically, the years. yeah. To where at one point and it's got to be adapted. Niggas are really just standing across. It's just banging. It. <laughs> it's just banging. And if you were waiting for all the front, you hey, 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 yeah. It's internet control now. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. And, and every everything is everything is different. And that kind of goes. And a lot of people can talk about like what some people call the, the, the pussification or the soft. Like every generation getting softer. Talk about because that. of of how like just to, again. You know, to think that in, in a situation like the army, I mean, we're we're talking about literal war. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you niggas can't be soft. You know, the Bible was so amazing because mm -hmm. in the Bible before, in the commandments of God, he says, before you go to war, you ask who's scared. Everybody who raises their hand, go the fuck home. You don't even get to be here if you're scared because fear is like a fucking cancer. You, I look next to you and you're scared now. <laughs> I, I done been it's in. Red. I done been in situations where <laughs> we it's five or six of us. All of a sudden, the first nigga runs, and every and then it's just two of us. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do? So now we have to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> because now the odds are just yeah, too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Six on ten, I might could have did two and ten. Yeah, let's yeah. regroup. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let nigga, let's fucking yeah. regroup. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Um, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, no, but I, I had that. Like, yeah, and, like, and yeah. also before before we move off of that, though, like, yeah. you know, because because we had a brother, we had a, a member here who ex marine, and he actually killed himself last year, man. Really? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, that it was, was really, like, I mean, yeah. it, it hit us so hard, and you know, the problem is with some some people um, internalize stuff a lot, yeah. and they're going through stuff, and they don't want to talk. They don't want to talk about and it. And and it just caught all of us by surprise because we're like, damn, bro, I didn't even know. Yep. He's you going don't, through you won't know it. Like you have to pay attention to the signs. People are always like you need to pay attention to the signs. And I don't know the signs. <laughs> there are actual there are actual, actual signs. signs. Yeah. Yeah. And they teach us in 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 the army like we have a well, a, a slideshow that we have to go through every year mm -hmm. of of suicide prevention and stuff like that. And if they just if they're if they're shutting themselves off, mm -hmm. they're not communicating mm -hmm. and um their moods change and mm -hmm. shit like that. And if you pay attention to that, and even if just even if you happen to come up to him and say, yo, you good? And just like that, that might be like, oh, mm. this, this person cares. I don't that's know. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't it do it. Might be yeah. And, and yeah. that's what they said last, the week before, you know, the brother did that. He was just totally dis. He was, you know, we was out in the streets doing what we do, and we're headed to the parking lot, and he was just totally disconnected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just. It was because of. Uh, well, not okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, it was all this stuff was going on, so you know mm -hmm. that happened and it, it kind of devastated us. But then it it actually, 
you know, kind of prompted us to be aware of that. Mm-hmm. And then we, we yeah. kind of talked to the other veterans because we got plenty of veterans. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So now, like, you know, for the veterans to have contact with each other, no matter, you know, where they're located at to where, hey, if y'all need that, there's expert. Because, you know, some things, you know, we try to accommodate, you know, but it's just some things we're just can't, like, yeah. I'm not familiar with. I don't know, yeah. you know, that experience. You know That's what I'm saying? That's a different so world. I, if you, if you I can't speak to, it. to me, you can too. Definitely, definitely, I'm, definitely. Yeah. I got to connect so. you with my boy too because I think you guys will work well together. He's down in Jacksonville. Okay. And I know that's a big hub yeah, for military. Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good answer. Um, do you remember just going into the, because uh, you said two and a half years ago is when you really started doing like the social media thing, right? Yeah. Do you remember, like, was it a steady increase on your TikTok, or what? No, so it just exploded? <laughs> it just exploded out of nowhere. Was, what was, was your goal with it? So it, there was no goal. Just when making started. stupid my kids, my videos. Kids, my kids, it was COVID, right? COVID just hit, mm-hmm. and my kids were like, "Dad, you need to get TikTok. It's funny. It's great. Cool. All right. Cool. Whatever. I'll get it." I'm scrolling. Me and my kids and my wife go to this lake every once in a while, so we end up at this lake. And I make a video with my son, Alex, and it goes viral. And it was a stupid-ass video. I don't even remember what it was, but it, it went viral. And I was, like, hooked. Mm-hmm. But I was like, what do I want to do? And I started seeing, as I was scrolling, I was seeing, like, soldiers making videos. And I'm like, I want to do that, but I want to do my own thing. I don't want to use niche. the sounds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to make my skits. Mm-hmm. And I made my first skit, and my first, no lie, my first skit went for 2 million views. Shit. And I was like, this is it. Yes, yeah, I found it. it. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Two million. Yeah. What? So my, bis- my biggest video to t- right, right now has a million likes, and it's at like 7 or 8 million views. Wow. Huge. Golly. So like... Um, I tell you, man, you guys just fucking, you guys just find a light wherever you guys go. I just did the cream rises to the top, yeah, really. we ain't got no, we ain't got no choice. Go, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, so cool, like, cool. I was like, okay, let's let's see where this takes me, and um, I would grow for a bit, and then it was, it's TikTok is weird. Like, you'll grow for a bit, and then TikTok will be like, eh. all right, nigga, <laughs> you need to slow down. Yeah, right? so and then, slow that and, down. And then here I am at six hundred thirty-six thousand followers, and I'm like, damn, a million is. At first, I was joking when I was at 150. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna hit a million. Now I'm at almost at 700k, and I'm like, yo, a million really ain't that far. Yeah, no, you're knocking on a million's door. Yeah, are, I am. Are like, you trying to diversify it? Like, uh, go from like, because I know there's a lot of um, controversy with TikTok because of, I guess, like the Chinese shit like that. But um, are you trying to then take them to like, you starting a YouTube channel or anything like so that? So I have, I have a YouTube channel. Um, I don't. I posted a couple shorts on it. I'm thinking about doing more on it because mm-hmm. YouTube pays way better, better than mm-hmm. TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Mm-hmm. Does TikTok better. is like pennies. Um, YouTube and Instagram pay better than than mm-hmm. TikTok. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yeah, I'm yeah. just not really. Yeah, the, the, and the thing is too. The unfortunate thing about the social media is things don't always translate, right? So once Instagram start pushing the reels. Mm-hmm. The reels work for me, right? On the ground. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, let me go to TikTok. It the, didn't the, work the, on TikTok. The algorithm we didn't we didn't win different. we didn't win up on TikTok. We didn't win up on TikTok, but people have put Where clips of me people have put clips of me on it's their not, TikTok. Like somebody brought, and not mine. Yeah. And they won't and they won't and they won't like give you any credit. Well, I didn't have a TikTok at the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now I have a TikTok I have, but have, I'm not getting views. I have people that that will take my video, they'll save it. They'll post it on their account and I they don't they gave so, me yeah, crazy uh-huh. nothing. They just posted it as their content. And then uh, people that follow me tag me in it and say, yo, hey, look at this nigga stealing. At least shout him at out. At least at the like, nigga. Bro, <laughs> you know what? At this point, people know who that is. Mm-hmm. They know it's not that, that whoever's posting it. Exactly. Them. It is they'll, they'll figure it out. That's yeah. what, I mean, we never, I think after we had the video with a, uh, in front of CNN that mm-hmm. had gone up. That's what prompted us to even consider making a TikTok. Which one? Which one was it? The, was the one of me? Well, um, with, with the with the, the with Christian the, with the lady. Yeah, yeah, with the lady. With the lady. Yes. Mm-hmm. Bro, I remember people. From, oh, the, the wall. The wall. People, right? people yeah. from back home were hit me up like, uh-huh. "Yo, is this you?" Nigga, I'm I like, see you I on said, TikTok. What, dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you were like, "Nigga, I don't even. Know. I ain't post this Bro, shit." Bro, that shit. Yeah. Like, and I thought like. Two, you said like you hit seven million. Was, my shit was like two. I'm like, okay, that's mm-hmm. not bad. That's crazy. I just so views are crazy. The algorithm changes all the time. But just recently, this last week, I had two videos hit a million views. 
and like my videos have been consistent and, and so you I and there's a certain time to post mm, all all like, those factors you yeah. and I've been posting for so long that I know I think I've only missed two weeks mm -hmm. in the two and a half years I've I've been making TikToks where I didn't post but that was because I was in training and I couldn't post, couldn't it. post so what two videos a week so I post so I post two videos a day usually oh shit so like okay. I, there was two weeks this past summer where I couldn't post at all. And I was worried. I was like, yo, my, my algorithm's going to be fucked up. I'm going to post and I'm going to get no views. Mm -hmm. Bro, no lie. The day I got out of the field where I was allowed to post, that video went for a million views. Yeah, nah. It, like, oh, Knucklehead's back. And yeah. it went nuts. People wanted you. They needed you. What, what was it? Yeah. I'm sorry. What's what's the reaction like in the army? It's it's amazing. Okay. It's it's incredible. Like, did, did, I, so everyone I around us. Knucklehead. I'm a celebrity right. in, in the army. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And it's it feels great because like I feel like I'm making somewhat of a difference and these soldiers are like, yo, you make me laugh, you 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 make me want to be in the army, you make me want to stay in the army, and that's what I'm going for. So like I was last summer, this past summer I was in uh Fort Irwin, which is in Southern California in the desert. Um and I was there for thirty six days. But there was like 5,000 other soldiers there from all over the country and they all knew me. Mm -hmm. I went there with uh, like 60 stickers that I had I had these, these stickers made mm -hmm. all gone and pick people taking pictures and videos dudes recording me while I was sleeping and I'm just like wow at that point it got weird. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. Trust me, point it's gonna, like, it's gonna keep, right, it's gonna keep getting weird. Guy. Trust me, it's gonna yeah. keep getting weird. Yeah, yeah I know and this I'm guy. Just like, this is nuts. Like, it was crazy, and people really didn't believe it. So I went to a school two, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, for a event that my unit does every year for uh, the school for Veterans Day. What they do is they make these cookies. They bake like eight, nine, ten thousand cookies, and they send a care package out to all these soldiers that are deployed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll go talk to three different classes, seventh grade classes. And these kids knew who I was before I even said anything. Wow. So that's when I was like, man. This because is it's all about, especially the kids, it's all about TikTok for yeah, sure. Yeah, these seventh grade kids, like, these are, they're in their prime because it's like, they love the army. They love the stuff. I'm like, what 13. Are you? Yeah. 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 13 years yeah, old. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the yeah, older yeah. they get, but once they hit like 10th, Ninth, tenth grade, they they don't give a fuck about but nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Okay. So, yeah. but like, it's cool. It's it's like the fact that I really get very little negativity when it comes to uh, the army. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started, I got a lot of negative feedback. I got a lot of negative comments, and I would respond to them like, "Yo, fuck you," blah 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 blah. <laughs> But then, the, as time went on, I don't really get any negative comments. And when I do, I really don't care. Yeah, what what that, were some of the negative comments? Like, like one like, or two. Oh, what are you doing? You're an NCO, NCO, non-commissioned officer in the in the army, and you're making these TikToks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a poor example. Blah, uh -huh, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And it's like, I, obviously, I'm not a poor example because I got soldiers who are following me that want to be the type of leader that I am. All I'm trying to do is spread positivity and make people laugh and say, look, there is a, a lighter side to the military. We are serious, yes. Why? Because at the end of the day, at some point, we could go to war. So we need to be ready and prepared for that. But why can't we have fun while doing it? Yeah, and, and what, what, what your experience, what you experience in the Army is, is similar to what, you know, what I've experienced um, in, in the Israelite community. Mm -hmm. Because people go, you're a leader, you're this, you're that. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing Why do you enjoy yourself? Yeah. Why? Why do you go out? Yeah. I, why do you? Why do you? Drink? You yeah. see what I'm saying? It's Listen. the same thing, and it's like, uh, <laughs> but you don't even train. You know, and, I, and and here's the coldest thing: this person who says it, that person might be an out full fledged alcoholic. Right. Here's me. Right. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> it's not even. You see what I'm saying? But 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 there's there's this idea because what, what you're being attacked on the same thing I was. This idea of <laughs> this is what an NCO is. Mm -hmm. Anything else? But it's not written in the rule book. This is what NCO mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm following the rule book. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. just. I'm just. I'm just transcending whatever you feel like it's how it's supposed to look, yeah. and you have a problem with it. And I don't. I'm not here to please you. That, motherfucker. That, that, that's a real fact. Because I'm gonna tell you, when I got into the uh, the Israelite community a couple of years ago, I, I I felt like I had to be just like this. 
And you know, when I, the first time I kind of went out with these guys, you know, this, you know, your brother being the ringleader. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> seriously, <laughs> still to this He's day, with yeah, 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 the ringleader. Uh, hey, look, I'll tell you, this is a regular, this is a regular night. Regular like, like, season. like, I had my fair share of going out. Like, I, I was done. Like, I wanted to stop, and then I got dragged the fuck back out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and, and I, I was just quiet. And then, but what was interesting is, you know, like he just said and highlighted that. Um, you have this perception of how it's supposed to be based off of what you used to do. And it's like, you're supposed to be straight and narrow and you know, you got, but bro, like there's something also called reality. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? There's reality. And then there's like, like I can still be righteous and still do what I do. Like it's, it's not like I got to stop being shame. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On the show. Like, I'm, I, still I, I, I'm still me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I learned that. And, and, and honestly, I've gotten smarter and better. I, I like it this way. Cause I could be righteous and I could still have a lot yeah, of fun. A lot of fun yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm, I am, I'm a soldier. I'm a father. I'm a husband. And I'm 36 years old. But, <laughs> That's like Kevin Hart. Well, Kevin, like, he's like, Kevin. <laughs> that was good. That was actually time, bro. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, no, real talk, like, um, but and I know I've, I've I've experienced life. I've had my fun, um, and but it, it's it's like it, we still gotta have fun. We still can be us, even though we were husband, father. Whatever we are, we are still us, and we don't want to lose that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people lose who they are, and I think TikTok helped me with that. Mm-hmm. My wife helped me with that. My wife really got my shit in check. The army really got my shit in check. My wife is Hispanic, mm-hmm. and she is mm-hmm. she's no joke. Absolutely. And so um, she really got my got me squared away, and uh, like I said, we met in the army, and. When you the older you get, it's like you really need to make sure you don't lose yourself, no matter what your career is. And a lot of people lose themselves in the army, and I didn't want that to happen. And I think TikTok really helped me with that too. Absolutely, that I I found that like all right, I need to I need to kind of vent, but in a positive way. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I did. Like 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 the content. Like you may do a video about like. Just highlighting some some very unpleasant aspect of 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 the, being in the military, but making a joke out of it. Exactly. So now here we are, we're laughing about it as opposed to just well, I you mean, know, I hate this shit. yeah, exa- exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's be, being able to 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 figure out how to do that. Um, because it because it, on paper it seems simple, right? It seems simple. I'm just gonna make jokes about what we, you mm-hmm. know, what I mean. But everybody just can't do it and, and really put it together in a way that's gonna, you know, mm-hmm. um capture people but it's clear that you know there was kind of a, a gap that you filled in in you know in the you know just the overall military lifestyle and that there was not a representation of who's yeah. okay we're on tiktok yeah who's doing tiktok for us yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. And, and and what's cool is that i'm known as one of the heavy hitters now mm-hmm. as far as the military community goes mm-hmm. there's a guy they call him the sergeant major of tiktok mm-hmm it's the highest rank you can be, uh, um, but he he makes he makes like motivational stuff. So you got somebody who does different things. I'm the funny guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that like I'm a I'm a leader. I'm a good leader, but I'm here to make you laugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people know that they know they can go to my page, and they will laugh. Mm-hmm. And that's all that's all I'm here for. That's dope. Yeah, um, I'll make the content every now and then to spread the awareness for. The, the suicide because yeah, you got because yeah, you yeah. got to get serious because sometimes you really yeah. need to have that serious movie that mm-hmm. serious video every now and then mm-hmm. just to let people know like this is real this is going on what can we do to fix it but i seen the the workout guy i think he's in the army you know the dude i'm talking about he's doing the craziest shit ever oh, uh he's wow. doing like burpees but he's doing burpees with 45 pound Oh, plates no 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 seriously no no he, he he's like i don't know if he's the guy but he, i've only seen this guy <laughs> in the army doing all the military well not military but he's just doing crazy ass yeah. workouts that you've never seen before there's a lot there's a there's, there's, a, there's a, a few of those guys yeah, there's a few okay right so so i want to go back um you talked about you're in the army racism is a thing in the army yeah, right oh, and yeah. I, now yeah I, i've i've i don't know I, i've told this story before some somewhere so but i remember when i was turning 17 right and um you know, obviously my birthday's Halloween, right? So it's so I'm we're at a Halloween party, right? Boom. It's Marines in there. Um 
It's Marines in there, white Marines, black Marines, a few, whatever. And uh, one of the Marines ended up getting into my boy, boom, here come the N-word, right? All the other Marines build a wall, even the black ones. No, and then this white boy, he starts crying. My battle buddy died, was black, and he died in my arms, right? And, you know, that's kind of like the thing where this guy's a racist. He's not not a racist because he had a black battle battle buddy. Yeah. But that's his battle buddy. So in the context of when he was at war, mm-hmm. uh, he knew he, and that I'm I riding knew, with I this knew, black guy. I knew yeah. a black dude. He died in my arms, so... I'm not racist. I'm not racist now. No, you're not. died in my hands. I'm not racist. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? You die in your hands purposely. For yeah, one. Exactly. And, I, and, and you using that is just an excuse. Mm-hmm. Straight up. You're trying to cover your ass after you just dropped the N-word. Mm-hmm. Which was in your heart. <laughs> it was all, right, right, that existed right. in your heart. And we understand. And, and, right. But just, just dealing with that, though, in the context of the military, like, you, you, you have... Everybody's in there. All people from all different. It's America, so all the mm-hmm. people Americans are there, mm-hmm. right? We're everything, and but people got to be in proximity with each other. People have to, if you get deployed, be there for each other. You trust know, each other. Trust <laughs> each other. Trust <laughs> each other. You know what I'm Shit. saying? But it's not. That's but it's understood that that's that's one of those things that we know it exists here. It does. It's there, and and it's not going anywhere. As much as I, it's American. As, as much as we want it to, to be gone, it's not. It's not going anywhere. Um, and it's okay. It's so in the in the army. I've experienced it multiple times, and it's it's racism and sexism, mm-hmm. two biggest things that are the biggest issues in the military, and suicide. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it gets brushed under the rug, like no, nah, it ain't nothing. Da da da. It really is. It's something, and you really need to do something about it. Mm-hmm. And they're not doing anything about it because they don't think it really is that important. Mm-hmm. But in my opinion, it is because we're we're all. So they they the army says this big thing where we're we all bleed green, mm-hmm. right? We're all yeah, we're all in the army. We're all brothers. No, we're fucking not. <laughs> we're not real. We're not brothers because you want to talk shit and say the n word to me. But then you expect me to have your back when we when when shit hits the fan. <laughs> exactly. I'm not gonna have your back. I'm gonna I'm gonna look out for me. I'm gonna look out for me for sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna look out for you if you were gonna be the, that racist prick that mm-hmm. wants to judge me because of the color of my skin. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna work that way. Yeah, I mean, and 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 naturally that that uh mm-hmm. that makes that just makes kind of the most sense in 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 the world, you know. And and the 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 thing about it is is that. The military has, like, the way we cope with the shit we deal with is dark humor, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, a difference yeah. between dark humor and, and racism. I'm just a racist. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the biggest, one of the biggest things that people joke about is race. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that we get too comfortable, and we were around all these people, and we hear it so often, we just kind of like, huh, whatever, you know what I mean? But, like, No. No, that's not okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm half black. My wife is 100% Guatemalan. My my four children are all mixed, and my daughter deals with Ari mm. has dealt with the N word more times than I can count, and it it hurts me that she has to deal. With. She went to a white school for a dance, right? She went to a homecoming dance last year, and she was the only dark-skinned kid there. Everybody else is white, cowboy hats. And I warned her about this. I said, you are going to an all-white school, all right? I'm telling you. This is going to happen. Something I, is going I've, to happen. I, I lived it. You listen to me. You lived it. Yes. I lived it. You lived it. We Literally know. Just, four black just get people ready. In my school. Four <laughs> black people in my school. That's good. Mm-hmm. So, like, dealing with, like, it hurt me that she has to deal with that. And she deals with the... Go ahead. She deals with it frequently. Oh, look at him. <laughs> it was look bound to happen. So now unplug it. Unplug so it. so and she is Ari. She's gonna go. She's gonna change the world some way, shape, or form. But she does not put up with the racism. She will. She will she's shut going. it down quick. She's going. Mm-hmm. She will shut it down quick. Mm-hmm. But like t- when I the, the fact that my kids have to deal with it still to this day. Mm-hmm. That shit, it, it upsets me. And I tell my kids not to join the military. Mm. For that purpose. For that purpose. 
Um, and the sexism part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, you got two girls. Okay. Yeah, because I have two girls, and I'm protective of my girls. Yeah, absolutely, as yes, you should. And it's upside down. There's as much positive as there is in the military. I want more for them. You know what I mean? I want more for them, and if I can pay for their college, yeah, because that's right. With, with, with my benefits, why now, am I gonna yeah, they're going anywhere for they want yeah, for free. Yeah. Why, am <laughs> yeah. I, why am I gonna make them try to go do it so they? I, I got it covered. Yeah. I don't think they need to do it. Because I'm doing it, their grandpa did it, their great grandpa did it. I don't think they need to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our grandpa and our great grandpa, he did, I, they, they both. I yeah. can't shelter them forever. Of course. You know, I can't protect them. For, I'm not always going to be there, mm-hmm. but That's I can fact. do what I can mm-hmm. to point them in the right direction. Yeah. And um, like you, you know my kids. You know that that Ari is is the darkest. Mm-hmm. Everybody else, like Michaela, she could pass for Asian, mm-hmm. but like they still deal with it because mm-hmm. they know that like these kids know that they have black in their yeah. blood. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no, no. I remember I said no. I remember I said that when I um when I first met your kids. I don't know who I said it to. Though. I couldn't tell you who I said it to. Mm-hmm. But you know um you know even from the times I went to white schools, like the white they know and they're yeah. like and they learn. But we got to understand like if we're if we're at an elementary school level. And um, you're already being a racist. Well, you you didn't invent that. You know what I mean. You didn't come up with that. You're learning that somewhere. You know what I'm saying. You got your parents or whatever. Yeah. They're saying things. You're picking that up. You're taking it to school. You know what mm-hmm. I mean. It, it 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 is what it is. So and understand. Oh, what's up, Cat? Cat, what's up? I see you. So yeah. Uh, so this is my brother. It's my big brother right here. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing? This is Cat. Great, great friend of ours. Anyway, uh, so you know, um. You're gonna experience that, you know. It just, it just is what it is. We all, we all did. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially, you know, the times, uh, you know, when we went to, to. I ain't always go to like predominantly white school, but when I did, that's, that's, well, that's well, definitely what was going on. Well, Absolutely. Up, yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Would always say you're white. Well, so, so how did you? Do, here's my question. So you knew you was black. I knew though. I wasn't white. First <laughs> yeah. of all. Like, that, that, like nah, I don't, I don't think so. Like, obviously, <laughs> yeah. Like. When I would go for a lot, you know, a doctor papers, they say, oh, you're black, white, whatever. I would, like, they would make me put white. Mm-hmm. I knew I wasn't white. But it is white. But still, you like I said, you didn't know your dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, again, that's, that's, uh, what was uh, your first, like, not as a child, but like your first kind of growing up moment where your, uh, like, you experienced racism? As, a, uh, as an adult? As, as, like, a, as, as a kid? As or? a, well, as, we'll start as a kid, sure. So, in, in fifth grade, I had a kid call me a nigger. Mm. Wow. Twice. Yeah. yeah. How, how did that That go? sounds like fifth grade. No, I'm, I'm only <laughs> that smiling because first, that's Because trust me, we've been, I've been there. That was my first fight, too. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I got three days out of school suspension. Wow. Look at him. Kick him. that kid's get, ass. Get in mm-hmm. trouble. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally yeah. had kids, like, older kids, like, I'm in fifth grade, yeah. eighth grade or something. Mm-hmm. Nigger, 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 nigger. Like, I'm dead serious, bro. Yeah. They just yeah. throw the word around. Like, yeah. And that just lets you know how liberally they're using yeah. it, though, yeah. in, at the yeah. house. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They're just throwing that. That thing is just going. It's just flying. Mm-hmm. In the you mm-hmm. thought it flew at your house. You know what I yeah. mean? We yeah. say it, yeah. nigga, too. Yeah. Nah, it's flying yeah. over yeah. here. Too. All hey, the time. You remember what Dave Chappelle said about uh, uh, Furman when he was doing the um, the O.J. Simpson trial? He said, his, his name is what, Furman? He said, he says, and he's a technician from somebody who says nigga a lot. He says nigga all, all the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow, man. So, and, and plus, you're in damn Lebanon, PA. There's four black kids at your school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the kids, so my school, there was four black kids. Cedar Crest, the kids, the school the kids go to, there's there's a little bit more. A little bit more diversity. But mm-hmm. there's still <laughs> constant racism in there, and they think it's funny. When, when I think about Pennsylvania, I think about that movie with Woody Harrelson. Which one? The fighting one. where Kingpin. Ba- no. No, not keeping the other one where they go fight with, but he's fighting them. Uh, uh, in a hill. What's my man? Um, they got their own rules. Oh the dude that played Batman, just something Bateman. No, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. Thinking, Jeff, not Remember, remember? And they, 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 are they boxing? They're not boxing. Nah, this that's is, this is brawl fight. One. This is brawl fighting. Nah. <laughs> to almost to the death. Like <laughs> Pennsylvania, death. and I know this. Yo, you know what he thinks about when he thinks about Pennsylvania? Uh-huh. He thinks about Amish people. Amish people, bro. Now, now Philly, I got people from Harrisburg, so I know a lot of people from Harrisburg. I've been to Harrisburg with this nigga. Yeah. And okay. still, but listen, where he was at, hour and a half from Harrisburg. Shippensburg. Shippensburg. It's another burg, but it's a different Yeah. Place. So how far are you from Pittsburgh? 
What? So I'm four hours from Pittsburgh. God oh, damn. He's by, he's by Philly. I'm by Philly. I'm about an hour and a half. Oh, Philly. see, remember I went hour out and a half though. Damn. I went far. out there. He came, got me from from uh, from Ariana House. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I was in Philly. Boom, he came, got me. I went out there at 11 hours. But that's not where he lived when I, because mind you, we haven't even got to that part. I, I was, mind you, we, I met him, right? Uh, 17, finna be 18. And then, boom, I'm out of school. Because I dropped out of school probably like within a couple months anyway. I was, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. And then mm-hmm. I went out there for the summer. So, but when I, when I go out there to see him for the summer, He's in Shippensburg. He's not in Lebanon. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So what was the closest, like, semi-major was, like, Hagerstown, Maryland. was probably, like, the closest, yeah. set, like, Damn, decent size. you like, right city. in the middle, huh? Like, so, you just... So, yeah, it's kind of the middle of everything. You know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Philly, Philly was, like I said, is an hour and a half away. But That's too far. Hershey is the closest. Actually. Hershey's part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hershey's, yeah, yeah. They Hershey's got the little spot. amusement part. I, I yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But, like, Philly, uh, I'm going there next month for a Sixers game. Okay. I bought, I bought Alex the Sixers game tickets. Okay, so he's a, he likes the Sixers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So, so let him make his own mind. I have a question. <laughs> I, I hopefully, hopefully we're not uh, going too moving too fast. But so do, do, do you know what he does? Of course, <laughs> you don't know. I'm, 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 <laughs> no, 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 right. So, so okay. So, how do you feel about what he's doing, knowing where you're at in the army? You know, because you know, quite frankly, we we you know. We have some feelings about this place, right? Uh, you know, to say the to say the least. But like you know, so because I I think that's an interesting dynamic. I appreciate what he does. You don't know. Okay, okay. I so, appreciate see. what he does because he's honest. He keeps it real, and he's he's like he's he has he be, he stands by his beliefs. Absolutely. And honestly, that that just means like I said, I appreciate what he does. What I want to say is because uh, you know a lot of people, some people have issues with things we do, but uh, you know um, we're American citizens. And according to the Constitution, we have a First Amendment right. That's, that's my thing. That's, that's, that's <laughs> my biggest thing is that, and that's what has me upset about the Kyrie thing, all right? Um, who was it? Shannon Sharp? Yeah, Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Who's now backpedaled. Who's now backpedaled. Yeah, he's lo- yeah. Backpedaled now. Yeah. He's, like, oh, he's a track star. <laughs> no. But, like, you think about it, like, we are told we can say we have the, the freedom of speech. Say, say what, what we, we want. want, believe what we want. But we really don't, mm-hmm. because everybody's gonna judge you, mm-hmm. cancel you, mm-hmm. or complain or whatever, mm-hmm. because you are honest about how you feel. Mm-hmm. They can circumvent the First Amendment with, with that. But I just can't. I mean, you could can say whatever you want, but then I'm gonna cancel you. So then, yeah. can yes. you really say it? Really but then, even it? the Second Amendment isn't peed on because all these, a lot of states have all these regulations yeah. about the Second Amendment, and the Constitution just says you have the right to bear arms. And then that, that's it. That's literally all that amendment is. Yeah. It's like the shortest amendment, and then it moves on. Right. So if we have the right to bear arms, why is it so hard in some states? To, to bear arms. And then why are some states trying to remove that right from you? Mm-hmm. From what I understand, California is harder. Mm-hmm. California is, is, mm-hmm. is, is, and this is the thing too, like, so in California, like right now, if, if I'm in a, if we're in a car, it's a gun in the back in California right now. I'm going to jail. For, I have to do 85 percent of three years Absolutely. of a three-year sentence. I have to because I'm a convicted felon. I cannot a convicted felon, documented gang member. You're, there's a whole charge called gang member with a gun, right? Really? Because now it's not just you're. If you have a gun and you're in a gang, you're trying to do a drive-by. That's what you're doing. There's no other thing you can possibly be doing other than the drive-by. So it, it, it's that predatory shit, but it's like you did all that, and it doesn't decrease crime in this state. Yeah. It doesn't decrease gun violence in this state. It doesn't. This state's murder rate is still up, mm-hmm. right? So what is this doing versus other states? And, and to me, from moving to the South, living in Texas and living in Georgia now, where everybody knows everybody has guns, to me it, it deters more bullshit than it starts sometimes. It should. Because it's like... Oh, if I well, I got house. it. Yeah. See, and, so see, no. see, no, a gun, what, uh, they're gonna shoot they're me. Gonna shoot. See, in California, we, we, there's a lot of times where if we have a gun, I know these niggas, ain't. and if they do, it is what it is. But their chances are they probably don't because niggas are worried, and they're so like growing, especially being in Osa area. Like the level of profiling that is happening by the police. If you're black. You're Hispanic or you're fucking Samoan. Your car is getting pulled over. Mm-hmm, absolutely. I got you're, pulled over a long time ago when I was well before I joined the army. I got pulled over once, and this is my first shitty, horrible experience with a cop. I had the neck tattoo because I, I, I. Oh, oh, you, yeah. And um, I, I don't know. I don't remember what I was sharing. A long white T-shirt, mm-hmm. right, and some baggy jeans. 
Pulls yeah, he me pulls me over, makes me get out of the car because he's like, "Oh, you, you, you meet this profile of somebody who, was <laughs> who did, who did drugs something down yeah. the street." <laughs> Bro, it was like forty five minutes where I was with this cop, and he's telling me that I'm this dude, and I wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, "Yo, it's it's a neck tattoo." I'm like, "Bro, I'm, I'm literally going home. I just dropped my kids off. <laughs> I'm going home. home. So I haven't sold drugs a day in my mm-hmm. life, but you think I am? And this is Fredericksburg. Wow." What, yeah, was your, uh, what was your reaction when you found out your little brother's a gang member? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever formally found yeah. that out. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's well, now the, that you know, how do yeah, you yeah, yeah, See, yeah. but this is the type of shit, like, not, <laughs> not, not, not having a big brother, this is the type of shit. Yeah. You know what's it's funny? It's your fault. Said. That's what he said. It's your fault. No, that's his fault. It's his fault. Don't let him do that because you had a little brother. And your fucking ass made him game bank too. We could, but I'm telling you what. So I, I didn't make up. him do a damn thing. That was uh, a joke. We uh, if he him. saw you, you did it. <laughs> yeah. I, grew up, I grew up as an only child, so I didn't get to experience having them. And that, to this day, hurts me because, like, here we are, and we've been we've known each other since I was 21, and he was 17. Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, I missed out on all that. But, like, him and I have this bond where we could go weeks without talking. We'll send a text. What's up? And we'll just chat for a little bit, and we're good. Absolutely. And it's nice to have that. Like, Christian, he's going through what he's going through. So that's, like, I'll reach out to him, and it seems like he's getting better. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, you've experienced more with him than I. Mm -hmm. Evan Mm -hmm. is busy, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, and she's, like, she seems, like, to try to be the glue to hold everything together. Mm -hmm. And she, and I I, I love that. I love that she put this group chat together, but, like, I think you and I are just, I think maybe because we spent more time together. Yeah, we did spend a lot more time. Every year we see each other at least once, Mm -hmm. and we talk more, so I think we have that that bond, Mm -hmm. and I I love that. But, like, growing up without siblings was hard because my parents were alcoholics, and I had nobody to really talk to. Mm -hmm. It was just me. And my drunk parents. So I'm just like, I guess I'm going to title of this TV show. Me, me and my, and drunk, my drunk parents. parents. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just talking myself. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But, so there was times where they would get up or they'd get home from, from drinking at 2 o'clock in the morning and wake my ass up to yell at me for no reason. <laughs> yell at me for some shit I did like a month ago. And it's like, we. And we ain't forgot about that we, bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> we, we already discussed this. You grounded me for the whole month. But now you want to bring it back. <laughs> So, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. But okay. you know, just again, up to me, how how I look at things, you know, they say it takes a, a village to raise a child. So, you know, we whereas I had a two parent some people didn't have a two parent household. I know a lot of my friends didn't have a mm-hmm. two parent household. I had my dad, I had my mom. My mom was drunk a lot, my mom was high a lot, my dad would work a lot. So it was like, all right, I'm I'm going outside. Like, you know, and what's going on outside, mind you, this is so eighty. Let's go backwards. Eighty eight. When my mom and his mom is staying in this in the same apartment complex, and she's seeing him and seeing my dad go to see him before she meets my dad. You know, my mom at that time she's in there. She start running with because in about eighty five, eighty six. That's when all the L A. Crips and blood start coming to Tacoma to sell crack. Mm-hmm. And so that's going on. And now my mom, she my mom's running with the Crips. They got sixteen years old, white girl from. Hey, we said, hey, blues been in his blood. Yeah, no, blues been in his family, right? (laughs) Blues been in his blood. So my my mom's running with the Crips, whatever, whatever. Boom, she get with pops. Um, you know, my dad is my our dad is a little too old for that. You know what I'm saying? Because he's he's born in like sixty four. So by the time that's coming and niggas are joining that, he's uh, too old to be a part of getting caught up in that. But a lot of niggas he knew was um. It's funny because a lot of my, my big homie went to school with my dad, but they were like under him you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. so you know whatever um and so that so all that's going on and there's that nucleus so then the 90s the, in where we from the 90s was like whatever you heard about the 80s it was going on in the 80s but it really the 90s was mm-hmm. kind of like our 80s because it came later mm-hmm. from the bigger city you see what mm-hmm. i'm saying from la so now i'm growing up in the 90s bro this is what's going on I mean, you know what i'm saying it's crack outside it's ho- it's prostitutes out like right outside you know what i'm saying so, um, as a kid, and it's so crazy when I think about my kids, and I think about, like, what I would allow them to do. Like, all the shit I could do as a kid, my kids will never be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, y- y'all niggas can't just mm-hmm. go outside mm-hmm. about, about anything. Yo, it's too dangerous for that. I think it's, and it's opposite for me. Because <laughs> you know, I wasn't allowed to do shit because my parents were both military. Uh-huh. And they were strict. I wasn't allowed to do shit. 
So I'm real lenient with my kids. I let them no, do things. No. I let them go. But I also live in. Yeah, I was just a, about to no, say that. No, if but, you're in a big no, city, also, that shit changes. Not, it not, does. But here's it the thing, though. See, our dad, he used to let us do whatever because his dad was strict. And he. Bro, my uncle, bro. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. my it's, uncle, it's, bro. Yeah, yeah. My uncle was 17 years old, about to go to Colorado to play football. Nigga is 6'5, I get Preston. My grandpa wouldn't let that nigga spend the night nowhere with nobody house. You can't spend the night nowhere. I don't give a fuck how you ain't spending the night nowhere. It's kind of a Haitian thing too, though. Like not letting your kids spend the night. Yeah, nowhere. J- Benjamin. Like yeah, they're, 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 Benjamin they're, too, yeah. we did not. Let, yeah, we not big on that. Yeah, can't go over here. No, but can't over there. But I, I used to spend the night at everybody's house. But then and now when I'm growing, my kids ain't they're no, staying in nobody's house. No. You know what I'm no. saying? They can come over no. here, I guess. But I'm not. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, I just I wait. Is that why you never let your kids over my house? No, when you ain't never had anybody. Yeah. Like I have. For I a have fucking actually, slumber have, party? I, no, I have I actually said, I said, I want... Um, they I can want, go over to your house. Okay. We, we talking about sleepovers, though. That's a different thing. My <laughs> kids don't sleep over nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But but nah, I'm we used joking. to just be... They're going to steal. You know what I mean? They're going to steal. They're going to steal. Fuck it. You know what I mean? But, but uh, uh, you know, we was... Grandpa was so strict. My pops was kind of... You know, he was, he was lenient. But, see, I'm going outside. And, again... I, don't, I know I have a big brother, but I don't have him. You know what I'm saying? He's not there. Yeah. So I'm hanging around older niggas, whatever, whatever. This is how I get introduced to everything. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Niggas, drugs, and whatever. You know, and I, I already know because I'm looking at my mom. She's a drunk. She's on drugs. So I know I'm I'm never going to do this shit. Yeah. I'm never putting yeah. that in my body. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I know that this is a <laughs> this was a lucrative thing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it, it, I mean, until I really came and really started teaching the Bible, bro, I, you know what I mean? That was what I knew how to do. You know what I mean? I had to. I remember I had a whole ounce. Nigga, I had to throw it in the trash. Like, I just can't do this no more. That was, that was at grandma's house. That was at grandma's house. So that was t- 2010? 2010? No, 2011. 2011. What was your when first? When I was staying with grandma, I, th- I, th- I threw the dope in the trash. Man. What was your mm-hmm. first impression of meeting your oldest little brother? <laughs> This nigga can't ball. <laughs> Yo, nigga. Okay. That's a fact. First off, that's, that's not true. When you saw me all talking, I'm like, yeah, that's a I beat you and Christian. He did yeah, win. I won. One on two? No, no. It was 21. Okay. It was 21? It was 21. It was 21. Exactly. It was one on one. He won. He won, though. He did win. He did win. Because he's like, he's hella niggerish, right? Mm, so. <laughs> What was your hey, hey, What a day he He's telling niggas she was right at my house. Right before I met him, I had never said the word nigga. <laughs> For real? <are you> serious? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, oh so he brought oh. you to a whole new world. Why? Then you're like, fuck it. That's what you're so You can say it. You can say it. Yeah. Because he's lighter skinned than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga we ain't niggas around this motherfucker, nigga. See, I remember I was little. When I was real little, I went to school one day. It was a kid, Devontae. I don't know if he's Dominican. I don't know what he is. His name was Devontae Gonzalez. But his mom is white, but he's like dark skinned. Yeah, motherfucker's Dominican. He's got to be De- De- I said Devontae Gonzalez, but your mom is white. Black. black first name, Spanish yeah. last name, white mom. I was confused because yeah. he, was, he was dark skinned as him. And, but he's raised with this white woman, though. I know that for sure. So me and my, my boy Xavier, man, we're, and, and I, I used to just, when I used to just come home as a little child, you know. Dad, what's up? Nigga, I was school. You know what I mean? That's that's the greeting to come in the house. I so, niggling. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Yeah, he'll say nigga too. When we yeah. linked up to play ball, he's like, look at my niggas playing ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's it. He that's like it sticking out to yeah, him, though. No, listen. My that's dad, sticking out to him. Because it's a new... <laughs> dad loved that word. Yeah. <laughs> a whole new... Like, I grew up... I was raised by white people. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that word was... And not to mention, remember that they said I wasn't black. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, on. Hold on. Did so. it captivate you a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know it did. I said, yo, I He's like, like oh, Eddie Murphy coming no, to a mega. No, no. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> you, too. <laughs> man. <laughs> man. Yeah, but we we were we were saying nigga to each other, me and my boy Xavier, and Devontae went and told on us. And they brought me in the office, and the damn office lady Pam, her name was Pam, white lady named Pam, she was like, What's going on? I said, and me's like friend, and she was like, just just go, man. Just, <laughs> she's like, I'm not even gonna try to understand what the fuck these people have going right, on. Right, right. Just go. But it was a little but I I had to factor in, you know, his mom probably said, if anybody says that, you know, tell on them. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, he he didn't know. 
Yeah. No, this, we're just saying this to each other. This means we're friends. Mm-hmm. Right? You, don't, you don't listen to rap? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. We're good. Yeah. What's your problem, you bitch? Know what <laughs> <laughs> My parents would let me listen to the, exp- uh, the explicit. Explicit, yeah, they, the radio edit. You had to listen to the radio edit. I speak that shit. Wow, man. Of course, though, of course. Damn, I'm literally, you both are in the military. You say the F word all the time. I can't listen Yo, to it. What's like, the plain version of what these bitches want from it? What they Yo. Say? What these people want from us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, all no, yeah. of is so they just they just they put the bark in. Bark yeah. Or, all right. <laughs> I'm just picturing him in his room, like a nice little cozy room, <laughs> part of PA, yeah. and like he finds out, like I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking like, yeah. Yo, I am. No. He just comes home like, yo. <laughs> <I'm really laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Yo. <laughs> Fuck that. We're calling you Coke. Come right? We're calling Coke from Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah, you come home like, where were you? I was with my nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bitch! Oh, oh, no. Hey, yo. Oh. My mom just goes, my word. Like, like, that's funny, yo. I'm tripping, bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up off me, pop. I don't know about this, yo. Oh, shit. Right? Man, right. nigga, I'm telling you. Hey, man, it's the niggas in them, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, them, man. That's crazy, man. Because like you said, I'm hella niggerish, man. All the time, mm. automatically. No, that's what I was, I was happy when I found out, oh, he's, he's a nigga. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. We niggas, then. We're going to just be niggas together, then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was That's up. right. So, uh, uh, just stick it, man. So, um, Lebanon, PA, boom. Um, Lebanon. It's Lebanon. 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 Get the oh, fuck out of here. Lebanon. There's a country called Lebanon. So, and that's what it's named after. That shit is Lebanon. It's Lebanon. <laughs> Listen. How is it spelled? Is it spelled, is it spelled the same way? Now, now watch this. Yeah, it's about the same. When, when you get You're to dealing Pennsylvania. With a wordsmith, no, so when I'm... you deal with Pennsylvania, <laughs> right? And <laughs> you understand. You no, understand. When you deal with Pennsylvania, right? And you understand who, 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 who founded Pennsylvania. Right, German Pennsylvanians, yes. Christians. That's why you got Germantown, right? Oh, and Germantown is that's not in. That's not in Tennessee. They, Tennessee. they don't have it. They don't have a Germantown in Pennsylvania. No. Are you no, sure? No. Are you no. sure? No. I, I oh, in Philly. In Philly, I think there might be a neighborhood yes, in Philly. Same. It's a it's a fucking neighborhood, dumbass. Not no, but no, it's no, not. no, no, it's a, no, it's a neighborhood. It's not a city. Right, it's like know. a part of Philly. It's close. But you got the Germans founded that. That's Pennsylvania, right? Mm-hmm. Penn's Woods, right? And and and. He's talking Beth- about that mall. No. It's like German. Uh, Man, no, no, no. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, you, no, no. You're talking about the king of Prussia mall. Yeah. That's oh, a yeah, king of yeah, Prussia. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's yeah, right? I'm right. No, yeah. that's Prussia. That's not Germany. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> right. You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's crazy. Come on. You got Lebanon. Uh-huh. You got fucking Bethlehem. King of you, Prussia was founded by... Sorry. Oh, we're, we're still good. We're good. Rich White Duke, after the king of Prussia. Who also owns Thousand Islands upstate New York. Well, I love Thousand it. Islands. It's called Thousand Islands. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like these all these rich folk castles in this big ad. Like there's you can get tours of it. <clears throat> um, up so he he owns one up there, and he 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 made King of Prussia Mall. Okay, King of Prussia Mall, which is a gigantic mall, right? Huge. Huge. My favorite mall because that's where I get all my Jordans. All the shit at, at the King of Prussia. It's okay, absolutely. but you have like they have a lot of biblical names of cities in um um. In Pennsylvania, because you know, also have intercourse, Pennsylvania, With inter uh, blue ball, Pennsylvania. Seriously, yeah, what about Middlesex? No, that's in Jersey. They, they, yeah, it's Middlesex is Jersey. Middlesex is also in Pennsylvania. Wow, really? Blue ball, Middlesex. Middlesex. Is, is there, there, there is a lot of incest Somebody in Pennsylvania was not though. Getting any at all? And they were naming it. My, my question is. Let's go to the Amish, right? Real quick, just briefly. The Amish, Amish hold on. I still want to steal a horse and buggy. No, and, and do it, because he's been talking about... I really want to do it. Here's what's cold, right? So we're out here when I first come to Atlanta. The Mennonites are in the streets singing, right? You, you made a video. Yes, right? and I said, I said, y'all don't understand. I know these people. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. like this. You feel me? I, I, when I spent the summer with my brother, I seen these niggas, and they explained to me the difference between the Amish and the Mennonite. Them niggas might have a car. You know what I mean? They'll black out the car. They're not just going to be in a whole, they'll be in an all blacked out car. You got Rob Springer. You know what that is? When they can go and they can run go, the streets. When they turn 18, they can hold around, roll and run the streets. But they got to come back. They're but they got to come back. They don't have to. They're fucking though, right? They don't have to come back. They make their decision. Bro. They go insane. I'm telling you. See, I thought that was all Amish people. So that's a certain that's set. A that's no, no, no. All of them do, though. They oh, all, oh, okay, that, okay. Where, where they give them a choice to choose. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, for, you know, they are. The ones that were like, at that phase would be chilling at Walmart because Walmart was the hangout spot. And Dairy Queen. Because there's, Dairy Queen. there's, there's yeah. no mall. It's just Walmart. No mall yeah. in it's just Walmart. You got to go like further up to go to a mall. And you'd have these Amish girls 
outside with cell phones and shit. <laughs> Modern. <dick>. Selling twat. <laughs> Selling it. At Walmart. <laughs> Sit at Walmart. Like the That's the pickup spot. In the, in the outfit, though. In the whole outfit. <laughs> but they're out there selling it like crack, dog. Mm-hmm. Like, what y'all niggas need? <laughs> like, what? They're trying to experience life, apparently. They've been in a... With no electricity. Do they have accents? I feel like, oh, you did... You did. I'm looking for like, that again. Hold on, bro. That, that, that was crazy, bro. Ye old... <laughs> well, look, no, I'm that was crazy, bro. No, I, I, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta <laughs> stop. That was crazy. What the fuck are you Because we're about, in America, bro, and you're saying like... like but no, nah, but they're like Puritans. But I got it, but I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest Bro, motherfucker, that's not a dumb I'm question, be, bro. I know it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. not. Right. Right. Can you Listen, answer it so he... They speak in the Queen's English, dumbass. scare me. They scare bro, you. Why? You ever saw the children of the corn? Yeah. That's, yeah, the that, that's yeah. what I only I think bro, of. Let me tell you something. When you end up, and so like in Lebanon, there's certain parts of Lebanon, like Myerstown, where it's Amish people. Okay. And you drive through it, and these people are like living where they don't have lights, nothing. Mm-hmm. And you drive through these corn fields, and it's like, bro, what if, what if Malachi comes out here? Comes yeah, fucking yeah, Malachi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know children, of the corn, yeah. <laughs> children of the corn, yeah. Malachi, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. bro. I'm like smoking people, Amish. In the but then you got Amish or Mennonite. I don't know what the difference is. You do. No, y'all niggas told me. You oh, know what? Man. No, you, you you and Jen told so me about it. <laughs> well, let's not talk about yeah, okay. The fact of the matter is, like, some are allowed to use phones and electric. Others are not. So, like, Mennonite is more strict than Amish. Mennonite it, 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 it's is just, very strict. It's mm. just like any two, like in Islam, you have Sunni and Shiite. It's one thing, but then there's... Two prevailing schools of thought. One yeah, typically yeah, yeah. on the more extreme side than yeah. the other. Yeah, so, yeah. so what would be the people in Brooklyn? Like, you know, what like people by, over by Coney Island. Those are Hasidic Jews. Hasidic Jews, sorry. You not not Amish. Well, I just gotta say, no, you're, you're, Orthodox Jews. No, you're a dummy. I had to ask. I had to ask. For, 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 for context. Cause, for no, the because they gonna use electricity. Yeah, see? Yeah. No, I know. Except for on Friday to Saturday night. Right, you know, con. You know, Come on, see, it's not a dumb question. No, it was a dumb question. <laughs> it's for the people. No, for if you're telling me if my question was dumb, nigga, that was retarded. It's for the, it's for I the asked people. a good question, bro. No, yeah. They live ancient, like 1600s. They live ancient. They live ancient. Oh, yeah. Here you ancient. Do they talk old English? Ancient is 2000. Thousand years plus. It ain't they live, um That's <laughs> not antiquity. Uh, medieval. They live in nah, medieval. Don't, don't let him some, die, of, bro. some of them got like a little bit of a. A little bit. A little bit. Oh yeah. Them. But, but no. about like shit like that. Majority of yeah. people they speak just like you. <laughs> Do that again, bro. <laughs> no, no. They speak that. just you like you yodel from Oregon. That's what I'm saying. They yodel. These niggas is yodelers. No, that's what I feel like when I hear them. Yo. I never heard them. No, you never heard them. That's no, you. But you don't remember. You, know what? you weren't I wasn't here. Our podcast will be in Pennsylvania. You fuck it. Yeah, okay. and we're gonna we're gonna meet them niggas. You gonna meet them? I want to know if they got some cuisine I can eat. Fuck What's their cuisine? What the fuck do they on, make? On their, I'm gonna put an Amish girl on the blade. blade. <laughs> they turn butter. <laughs> well, all right, cool. This cool. nigga is nuts. Yeah, yeah. cool. All all right. nigga, let me tell you something, that's man. Exclusive. Them girls though. Those people. They're a weird looking people. That's all I'm gonna say. I know, yeah. They're like all ugly. Yeah. Everybody no, every single so one of them. Because brothers Amish. and sisters have sex. They're in. Oh. So there's a lot. In Pennsylvania, there's incest, period. There's a lot of that. Mainly uh, Amish people so from short. West They're Virginia Virginia shorter. Worse, My phone's but Incest is a thing in Pennsylvania, especially. They really try to keep the bloodline Amish. pure, I guess. Yeah. 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 But they're doing the complete opposite. Like, yeah. if you. If People, these kids, when you see these kids with their, their mom and dad or their brother, whatever. Their <laughs> brother or sister. Honestly, their brother or sister. They got the wood-looking teeth. I Yo, can just imagine. Yeah, it's like, wow, that is an ugly-ass kid. They're in a, they're here. No, they, like, like, well, no, 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 they got some in Georgia, remember, because they were literally on the streets evangelizing. They yodel, right? Yo, listen, listen. No, they don't they yodel. yodel. They don't yodel. They were singing in Atlanta out here. <laughs> there was yeah, one. Yeah. Listen, they don't do that. That that's like Swedish or something. Swedish. Yeah, same right. Shit. No, it's no, not. It's from not England. Not the same shit. Dog. Come on, bro. bro. They're not Baltic. Get now that's some here. dumb shit. <laughs> Come on, they're British. It's for the content. No. <laughs> This nigga's crazy as hell, but it's good. God, He's yeah. fucking good. good. Yeah, you're good, you. But the Go thing ahead. is, them pe- they were say- there was one black one. There was one black woman. <laughs> of course, there was no, no. There was we just said, hell yeah. You saw a black Amish woman. Nigga, she was black singing with these niggas. We all just said, "There's one right here." What? what the fuck black, are you? One? It's just one. Her? That might be her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's her. Black Amish woman alive, right you gotta there. Gotta take that bitch. Nigga like, said, "No, what the fuck are you doing?" No, we look like. What the fuck are you doing here, man? Yeah, yeah. With these people. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. How did you get involved in this shit? No, we were mad. 
So I, we began to debate them. It was mm. hilarious. You debated them for a hot minute, dog. Yeah. You got real. Serious? Yeah, you see the videos out. That video's got like 100,000 yeah, on YouTube, went, bro. That was wild. I gotta look yeah, that, that was, that, that was, that was before, got to no, it was before I even moved here, though. It, it was, was when I was just visiting. Man. One of my first visits here. You in here. Dallas? You in Dallas or something? I was in Dallas. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, tell him, tell him we, nigga. He was in Dallas. That was a motherfucking <laughs> mesquite, nigga. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we Jungle go. Jungle West, nigga. Let him go Jungle West, nigga. That was the... Who survive? Listen, it was... Who survive a day Who's side is in the building now? Listen, my son, listen. My son, my son told his mom, I'm from the hood. He said that to his mom. And I said, well, he's not lying, nigga. This nigga, every, oh, he, he, he's only that? ever lived in the hood. He's all a different from hood. The hood. Yes, he said oh. that. He said, I'm a gangster from the hood. He yes. said, he's not lying, though. I said, who the, who the fuck told you that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told him. You told him. <laughs> How'd you figure that out? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I get there tonight, and these kids are just... Yeah, bro. They've been, no, I'm no, like, they've been doing that all day. The they didn't go to school today. They've been doing that all day. As, All that, day. Right. Dominic Dominic got that energy though. He's he like ten o'clock. That kid is he's he's off fucking the wall. Going. How old was Azariah in Dallas? Like four. Baby, four. Like four. Three. What the fuck are you was, talking about? He was not A even. Baby. He was he was like ten months old. I remember Azariah. Well, I mean, I met Azariah when he was like Dan when he was born. Yeah, at the cookout. Yeah, at the cookout. Yeah, he was just born. He was but I remember. Born. In Dallas, he was still a baby. He still couldn't even hardly walk yet. Yeah, he were, he started walking in Dallas. Uh huh. Was he at the wedding? No. no, no, no. His mother was at the wedding. Okay. We told the wedding. Listen, the wedding. Let me tell you something about his wedding. Adam, I'm like, he looks familiar. Like, I feel like I saw him. No, he's just a half breed. We all look the same. So, that's just weird. No, so so his Fuck wedding, you. right? So this this guy has a wedding. If I grew a beard, I'd probably look like. Yeah, no. Nah, he, he, well, he, nobody looks like me. Uh, uh, that. Can you grow a beard? Tell him. I can. I, in the army, no. In but no, I'm saying. I, I, no, I, listen. I, tell I, this nigga I about how my like beard my used to look, though. I know how your beard used to look. No, it was patchy. Like, it was just when he first started growing it. It was when he moved in with me. This shit was patchy as fuck. So if I grew mine, it would be like that. He he would make fun of me. Let me tell you something. Niggas come to me. Oh my, your beard. How do I? I'm like y'all niggas. You it don't. You don't understand years. where I came from. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, took it, it, it took. It probably took two, three years to what, like it was like. This is a real beer. Uh-huh. My shit was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Before it really connected, now I stun on niggas, but niggas don't understand. We all had to come from somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, that shit was we crazy. We all had to come from somewhere. But but we went to his. This you know, he, he met his met his wife, who he's married to now, and he had a wedding. Like see, she's from the valley, right? So we go up there. Um, man, it's a whole scene. We almost beat my brother yeah, up at the wedding. Shit got, shit got real. No, listen. Because the niggas the came and, and, and corrupted the whole wedding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> First, no, no. Let me tell you the first mistake. The first thing that went wrong. This nigga tells me, and I, I, I just know he's bullshitting. He said, we killed the whole pig. <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. we cooked the whole pig. The I, I didn't, no, didn't, but he, and, and you're in the truth. Of, this of course. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, bro, I'm like, I just know he's bullshitting. <laughs> I know he's just saying that. No, they got no. this shit rotisserie, they, nigga. It's, it is. With an apple, with an apple in the fucking no, mouth. No. Because that shit was how it was. That shit was like, they I mean, got the one side going up its ass. No, it, no, 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 no. It's it, called it, the spit. That, that may have been, yeah, spit. No, they, 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 may have, just, they may have done that. <laughs> they may have done that. <laughs> My mother-in-law, and she's like, yo, we speak Negro. <laughs> I, t- I, told, talking, I told her we speak Negro. <laughs> she's talking, what? She's talking No, because the whole, the whole shit like, was in Spanish. They think I'm a Spanish nigga. Me habla Negro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what, I'm saying? <laughs> I said, I mean. what the fuck does that mean? I speak Negro. <laughs> yeah, yes. What, what I'm saying is, I know I might look like one of y'all, right? Yo, but I'm I don't speak that language, though. You know what I'm saying? And everybody there is Guatemala and Mexican. Everybody. Man, that nigga's like, okay. There was a hundred people. Can't you fucking my other Listen, we're the only black people there. It's our, it's one table. Let's talk about the ceremony. Let's talk about the fact that was, he didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I knew on. what was going on just no, from knowing the Bible. On? So he, we're, we're sitting there, right, <laughs> side by side. And then her, her cousin is there. And then this guy's talking to us in Spanish. I don't know what the fuck he's saying at all. And she's trying to translate it. And this dude is talking. And he says, Diablo. I'm and I'm like, I know what that is. I, I, I know what that means. I turned to look at the dollar. I know what that word means. What the fuck is going on? Somebody help me right now. Give me, am I married to Donald? <laughs> All of a sudden, the horns grow out her head. I was like, what am You're I talking about? Do? You. And she's like, Brandon, relax. I'm like, he said Diablo though. Like, what's going on? And it was 45 minutes. So no, it it was lengthy. It was very long. The the gist of it was, 
a man shall leave father and mother, cleave to his wife. They shall become uh-huh. one flesh. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the main thing he was saying. And when, when, when whatever God puts together, let no man turn this asunder. Right, right, That's right, right, basically right. this is just from knowing enough Spanish in the Bible that I know. Yeah. Uh-huh. He kept saying. Uno carne. I know what that means. One flesh. I know that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's kind of was the the crux of it. So I I, I had a gist of what was going on. Mm-hmm. Um, you that know, was a good time though. I had a good time. No, it was it, 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 it was it was a good time mm-hmm. uh, until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. You know, my bro, my little brother, he I'm, we were Deke. Was, Deacon was, is there. It's me, Cap, Deke, uh uh uh, Naya is uh-huh, there. Uh huh. Cap's baby mom. Okay. My little sister is there. My little brother is there. My little brother's girlfriend. Oh, so is there. y'all was deep. Y'all had a good yeah, time. Yeah, we was no. We, we did have a good time. Really yeah. overall, there was some hiccups though. Yeah. So the first hiccup came with the damn pig. So he's bullshitting. So I I do not take him seriously at all about the pig. When we get there, this pig, this pork, it looks and smells like chicken. It does not smell like pork. It doesn't look like, because you know, it, like, it, it just didn't. We already cooked it. All of us have it on our plates, but we're in the line still. Nobody's eating it. Nobody's eating it. We've all, we're on the line still. I get the memo that that's pork. I'm slapping niggas' plates out of it. Everybody that's with me, mm. your plate is getting slapped. I'm like, nigga, story. nah. I said, no, leave that there. Nah, leave that there. He told me that story. Yeah. I'm there tripping. Chicken. There was chicken too, right? I know. But you, got the, but you got don't the know. Pork yeah, yeah. Thinking it I, was chicken. I told you when you got there, there was pork. He did. You he he warned me. You didn't want to believe me. Bro, I thought he was bullshitting. There is pork. Nah, didn't know. <laughs> man, fuck that. This ain't. I'm pork. like, no. It's full plate of chicken, but it's pork. I'm like, no, that was dude, good, by the way. You, the way you said, nigga. <laughs> you have to wait. You've been around a lot. Yeah, 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 it was natural. It was very. I'm gonna go back to Pennsylvania. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna go away. Uh, uh, yeah, so just so want to throw that in there. But go ahead and continue. Yeah. yeah but yeah. so <laughs> that that's the first thing, and that's like, now imagine this. That causes an entire You're a hater. That that causes a whole scene. Uh huh. Because now I'm tripping. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, nah, nigga, nah, f- no, that's because first I'm not saying anything. I'm just slapping. I'm just, you know me, I get to tripping. But you trip like a motherfucker. Bro. I know. When I tripping, I'm tripping all the way. <laughs> like, like, nigga, you ruined shit. No, no, no. That's what I'm doing. I'm ruining shit, right? You ruined your so, brother's <laughs> No, I didn't. It was good. But it, it could have been ruined. No, but it did. Look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking ruined his My wife still talks about this. <laughs> he fucked it up. He fucked it all up. So, I'm slapping niggas' place, and now, like, I'm cap deacon them. I'm slapping their place out of They don't understand what's going on. I'm not even taking time to explain it. Like, hey, it's pork. I'm like, just no. Leave that there. That whole plate, fuck that plate. Just leave it there. Somebody, I'm sure somebody's here to take care mm-hmm. of the plates, yeah. right? Yeah. We ain't got to do shit about it. So that's issue number one. Nigga, then Christian and Deacon start, my little brother Christian and Deacon start getting into it. So now, now mind you, again, going back, here's my brother, right? My little brother, he wants to, you know, growing up, he wants to be like me, join a gang, shit like that. So whatever. And, you know, me, Deacon, we're all involved in the same stuff from going back, being from Tacoma, Seattle, whatever. So, this is my boy. This is like one of my best friends, Deacon, Absolutely. but also, as far from Christian's perspective, this is also like a big homie. You see what I'm saying? So now they're getting into it, and now it was over, Evan, and over my sister because Deacon said a couple things that my sister Christian ain't like. So now we're outside. We're in front of the house. My this at a house. Is, is this her parents' house? My, uh, her aunt's house. We're at her auntie's house. So we're outside of the house. And now me and Dick, we feel disrespected as older homies. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now my brother, we like, nigga, what's up, nigga? What you want to do? This little nigga turns around and is, I'm talking about, gone. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I ain't never seen this nigga run like uh, this. Hey, yeah. I'm like. Yo, he dipped. But see, this was around the time um, he, dealing with that girl, he was caught up in all kind of shit. And he. He oh, was. I remember that girl. That girl. That's that's the that's the girl. That's the that that's the girl that ruined him. To be honest with Destroyed you, him. destroyed him. And he would he began to act like he would never in in earlier in in, in let roll that clock back three years, turning around and running from us is not what he would have did. Mm-hmm. He would have just with somebody would have fought the nigga. You know what I mean? And it would have just been over with, and we would have just went on with our day. That's you know that's a regular thing. Nigga. Mm-hmm. The niggas gotta shoot mm-hmm. that real quick, and then we just you know we go back to regular schedule program. Mm-hmm. But the animosity is there, so we got to get that out the way. Mm-hmm. He just runs, and that shit really blew my mind. That he just like I was like, you just and he just was acting. He started acting weird, you know. And but again, this is just going to, to the mental health thing with him is. During that time, and you know, dealing with that girl and fucking with drugs and shit, 
he started to like regress to a child. He started to think like a kid. Mm-hmm. You know, like he was a, a child instead of, you know, he was an adult at this time. But everything he's doing and thinking he's, it's like he's a kid again. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what like was going on. Like this, this situation could have been handled different. The whole situation, like he didn't even confront the situation. He's like being weird about it. And then now we j- he went outside to call my dad, who's not there. Everybody's grown here. You can have a conversation if there's a problem. So we had to go outside to call my dad. So we went outside to confront him about it. He just run. Right? So that's a whole scene, though, too. Like, man, the niggas that came here and ruined the whole. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, damn, there's one black table here. Yeah. And we've ruined oh, yeah. <laughs> We've it ruined all of us. Yeah. But hold on, though. Yeah, but did. it's not like these niggas ain't crazy. And yeah. these niggas, you know what I mean? Yeah. These are fucking yeah. these. This, this ain't the lily white people here. Yeah. All right? These are fucking MS-13 and shit like that uh-huh, around this motherfucker. Uh-huh. This ain't, you know, yeah. your average people around yeah. this motherfucker, you know? Yeah. So, but we're the ones acting up. Mm-hmm. All right, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. After that, it everything was, you know, that was, I think, the last flare up. And after that, we had a pretty good time the rest of the night. Okay. Right? right. But there, 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 there was those hiccups. Go ahead, what you was going to say? Oh, my father, I thought you said that. I thought you said It was a good wedding. It was a good wedding. Other than that, um, I, I got really drunk. He was twisted. He, he this nigga, he's good for getting twisted. That's why when he said, you "Oh, I ain't drinking it? tequila tonight." Yeah, I was drinking tequila. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, he can't. Tequila. Tequila. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not an alcoholic oh. at all. No, no. Yeah, that's what we can't. Don't worry. No, he's not, <laughs> he not alcoholic. No, he's not alcoholic. No, no, he, he's in control. How long you had that bottle of forty two at your house? Oh, two years. Okay. Whole 1942 just sitting in the house. Yeah, oh, if I was an alcoholic, I would have a bottle of 1942 that I don't drink. So when I get into a conversation, <laughs> with alcoholic, I don't. Do that, that's so deep. So that's, that's yeah. Deep. That's deep. That's you get around some thing. of your niggas, though. Yeah, you know I mean? Niggas flowing. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow tequila's flowing. You working tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Wednesday. Um, I She's can't. not working tomorrow. Duh, we, we going to Red Martini tomorrow. Red Martini? Yes. Look at your company. face. We're having a company. Listen, outing. listen, listen, listen. But Ray Martin is so small. No, listen. Last. No, no. Let me explain something uh, to you. I, I, hold on. No, hold on. Because you know. Hold on. Right, no, 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 no. Fuck all that. Yeah, fuck all that. You should have seen it last month. Oh no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's kind of niggas couldn't even move in it. It yeah, was sure. going the fuck down last month. You know, I was mad at you. I was mad at you last Wednesday. You was mad about what? You was mad at me about what? I'm not mad, but I was like, damn, bro. What now? Then I left. Yeah. No, no, no. I got no, out of there. Through the spirit, I'm happy. But honestly, I felt fucking good. No, no. I felt fucking good. Listen, great I, that I, night. Felt, I felt good, too. I felt good, too. But He's my... Like, why are you laughing, bro? Listen, what happened? I felt good, too. But here's my issue. It was... We... Bro, we were... We were we were outside of somebody else's... It was... The section was no, so jam-packed. that sucked. Mind you, who's in the section? Jagged Edge and fucking Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. Yeah. You told me. I'm so we're just to, outside of the I'm section because it was so full. I already got my book tonight. It's over with. We oh, in there. Hey, <laughs> let me tell you what the con no, is. No, no, hold on. But no, 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 no. Listen, we, we, this hold. is the place you get pictures at sometimes, right? I, I got some pictures in there. Put, yeah. But let me tell you something, right? Just, just because, because here's what happened. We go to the karaoke. Jay and, and Jazzy Faye got the karaoke thing. We go to that. That's at um, what's the shit? Uh, something some, Garden. Yeah, yeah. It's on Peachtree. It's dope. It's a dope yeah, no, great spot. We gotta go back. Huh? Is it Swain? No. What? It's on Six and Peachtree. It's called. It's a, a garden place, Swain. That might be how you say. it. I don't know how to pronounce the shit. It's S O I G N E. Yep, that's it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you said it's how you say it. Swanye Garden. That's it. I like it. it we dope. were in there, Swanye Garden, till midnight. Right. The shit ended at midnight. So Zumiya didn't even want to go to Red because he's like, we're not going to be able to get a section in there. Right. He knew we're that. just. Not, it's or twelve already. It's over with. But. Gates is inviting them niggas to go. Gates just want to meet them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, nah, come on. And then we're walking out. And then we're like, well, what else are we going to do? It's not. It's Wednesday. Like, there's not a whole lot going on. Yeah. So we just went. When mm-hmm. we go in there, it's, <laughs> it's... It's fucking up. It's through the roof. It's up. It's through the roof in there. Up. And it was cool. So I was in there like an hour and a half. But I was like kind of overstanding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside the section. People were just walking by, nigga. <laughs> I mean, yeah, listen, nah, the girls was yeah. cool. There was that fat nigga that kept walking by, though. No, the listen. big nigga, the big nigga, yeah. Was he a bodyguard or some shit? I don't know. What, all I know is, bro, it's like, bro, it's big. You're 400 pounds, You're too pounds, big. Nigga. You're going you four can't be times. walking through four it like. Times. So why didn't you beat his ass? Yeah, bitch. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> like really? Yo, honestly, I think he was with Kevin Gates. I don't, no, I don't think he even was. To be he honest, wasn't. But Gates, like, like he was by himself. He had that he girl was with, with like him, two though. Girls. He that's had that girl. Yeah, he yeah. kept on. That's it. Yo, listen, it was up. I don't like Red Martin. As long as I lived in Atlanta. Well, I, I own it, so. Oh. All right, come on, side, side. Let's get <laughs> He's the owner. As long apparently. as I've been in, in Atlanta, <laughs> I, I, I've been to Red Martin a couple times. I didn't like it. I didn't want to leave because that day, that night, last week was no, fucking was, awesome. No, listen. I knew it. I, I just, I ran into they all were, my old no, friends. They were all over him, too. I ran into all my friends. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, we got to come back. Lo and behold, I so, think we're going to come back to fucking no, following week. No, but. we got to because we got New Moon next Wednesday. So we're not going to be able to go out on Wednesday for the next month after next week. Or after tomorrow. So, we, so we, we really have to do me, it let tomorrow. Let me tell you something about you, brother. You see, this is the con <laughs> artist of this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't say no to this. No, 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 no. no listen, well, he conned the listen, fuck out of me. No, listen. Tonight. Tell him, tell him how I did no, you tonight. Cool. He conned the... Listen, so so, so I, I, I already understood. Like, I, I'm not going to bring up certain shit because I know it's just going to excite the guy, right? <laughs> so I knew we already discussed... Hey, we got to go to Red Martini. I didn't want to do it, right? I'm just, I'm not going to bring it up. So he calls me. I missed it because I'm handling my daughter and shit, putting my kids to bed. And then he calls me. He says, hey, call me ASAP. I'm thinking something biblical. I'm thinking something like, hey, something I happened. Know, I know he would feel that <laughs> he, way. Did, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> just just yeah, tell yeah, the damn yeah. story. <laughs> so, 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 so he calls me. I mean, I call him back. I'm like, hey, man, what's up? He's like, oh, man. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? I'm like, what, what's going on? He's like, man, look. What's up, man? We're going to Red Martini. I'm like, <laughs> oh. I'm like, ah, you know, I don't know. He's like, man, just look. Just tell me what you want to do. Just tell me what you want to do because they want this, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm like, I mean, all right, man, we could do this. We could do that. You know, well, you know he's like, all right. He's like, well, fuck it because I already booked it anyway. I just needed to know if you were in or not. Already, like, it, was oh, it was already yeah, over with. It was already over with. He got me out of some money, man. <laughs> <laughs> tell me why today he texted me. We texted him throughout the day today, right? Well, last night I texted him. I said, "Oh, all right, uh, my, my my flight lands at this time. I'll hit you up when I land." I hit him up. I said, "It's like eight thirty. He's probably taking a power nap right now. I know. I know his schedule. He mm. sleeps at the weirdest time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I'm up the rest of the yeah. time. <laughs> he, this he's taking a nap, so he'll hit me up whenever. I go check out the Braves stadium and then uh, do a couple things, and then he finally hits me up. And he's like, "This is what we're doing da, 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 da. tonight. We're gonna do the podcast." Tomorrow night, I'm going to show you what I said. All right, cool. And then uh, it gets late tonight, and <laughs> I end up talking. I'm, I'm, I'm taking longer than expected. And I said, you want to just link up tomorrow because I'm not going to get there until a little later now. Tonight. He's like, nah, nigga, we're doing this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> doing this tonight. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah. We going to be late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she yeah, wasn't going to be here until yeah, 11. Yeah, I yeah, went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I he told me up, that. Then I pick him up, and he's like, Yo, you wait till I see the spot I'm taking you to tomorrow. Night. You start <laughs> talking about the, the, sh the no, 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 no. It's, it's gonna be a good time. I mean, I, nah, it was fun, bro. It was really no. Nah, it was like this fun. nigga was feeling it. Yeah, though. <laughs> I was because I, I ain't been there in a minute, and I, I never like going. And I've I expressed that to you mm -hmm. already. Like I don't like going here. It's a it, great it, spot. It, it's just it was never fun for nah, me. It, it kind of the night, thing is too though. When when I first moved to the my first night in Atlanta, I went there. It was uh, yeah, yeah. And when I was first, yeah. during the pandemic. It was always up in there. Yeah. But like the last couple times we went in there, I was like, uh, it's kind of whack. But last week, nigga. Listen, I hope we come back on this show and we talk about <laughs> how good of a time we had. I hope that it it's like last week. If or it, something similar. No, you know, listen, something if it's similar. not, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be very mad. Well, because I'm, because I'm, because, no, we, because we because we got a three we got a three bottle table. <laughs> so check, I'm gonna go at lunch. I'm uh -huh. gonna go. Boom, I'm Glenwood. I'm getting my little fit. Boop -de -boop. After work, I'm getting my hair braided. We're oh, so you're coming out? Oh, no, he's coming out. He knows he's coming out. He's coming I, out. I might be able to... You're back be, out. Well, no, is that what you're saying? No. Uh, just a, for special occasion. Special occasion. Special occasion. I'm, you know, we got people in town. He's in town, and then, you know, Roe coming in town. Plus, yeah. I'm trying to figure out my shit with my cousin. Who knows if Wootu is going to be there. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you know his cousin is, bro, manager. Oh, is he still in town? Or he moved here. Yeah. Who? Yeah, he moved here. Yeah, that he makes sense. Yeah. yeah, so, you know. Right? Is that what coming? Yeah. I talked to him. I said, boom. All praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So we in the game. You know, Jig, Jig put us together. We got yeah. a discount on the table and everything. But, you know, it's still high. It's yeah, he did it. It's high as fuck. Yeah. It's still somebody rich. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. He's going to see what this Atlanta shit is about. Yeah, man. You know, he took me on. I was living with him. You know, he took me, you know. To the. 
Um, where'd, where'd you take around him? his town, you know. Poor wife. No, no, no. Well, where'd you take him? Where'd you take him? <laughs> no, he didn't take me nowhere. <laughs> it's not no, no, no shit I know, to do. I know. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. <laughs> not no shit yeah, to do. Right, we went right, to right. Hagerstown. That's what we used to do, nigga. Hagerstown was like, okay, we going to Hagerstown. Like, it's like a bunch of you bars. You know what I mean? The mall, it's a mall. No, it ain't no mall. It's just a mall and shit, bro. We ain't even do nothing like that. But mind you, I was only 18, so I still wasn't. I was just just 18. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We weren't going okay, bars con, and con, outings con, like con. that. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Nigga might have snuck me in a place here and there before, but like nothing. Yeah. nothing so I didn't really start going to clubs until I really started fucking with Deacon. That's when I started going to clubs and shit. You know what I'm saying? No, I can't. He turned me out. I, was, I wasn't doing that. You know what I mean? He turned me out. <laughs> I, and then I, now I turned yeah. niggas out. Nigga, I saw that. I saw <laughs> yeah. was turned out. Right? You know? I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> but you, yeah, but you, no, but you want, are. Hold on, pause. Yeah, you, you're you're right, because it's got to be in context. Yeah. It got to be in context. I, I turned you out to a club lifestyle. <laughs> pause. And she's been able to see every step of the way with him. No. <laughs> she's been able to see every like step of the way with this guy. Why the fuck would you say that? One? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't she's say gone it. to see your revolution. I didn't say it too loud. You can tell. He's a newbie. You say he's... Well, no, well, she could tell when he was a newbie, I'm sure. <laughs> like, yeah, he's just I mean, he, he just... So, of course, he was a newbie. Right? What else yeah. he was going to be? You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, nah, the excitement on your face when you enter clubs, though, is great, though. You can't. I mean, that's not true, bro. It is You true. don't know what's written on your face, Yeah, yeah it's true, Because, you know, you're, you you're really wear your heart on your sleeve, bro. Nah, bro. However you feel is exactly. evidence, always. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Just, you can't just, hide it. Here's a thought. So I, I go in, I'm like, boom, I look good. Uh-huh. She looks at me. She know I look good. Uh-huh. We look great. There you go. We, we look, look even better. And, and we look better together. All praise. Like it, like it. Well, hey, look, you're going to have a great time tomorrow. I'm Most happy. I will. Most I will. You're gonna have a great tomorrow. Oh, of so, of course. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, I want to. Yeah, I definitely want to. I'm looking forward to. It. I got yeah. some other stuff Can going I on. Watch? Watch? No, bro. Why the fuck? Well, like a Richard Miri. Richard Miri. Yeah, let me get that, that AP that you got on right oh, now. Man. <laughs> Your first off, chill yeah, out. That's AP. He's got APs. If you want to rob somebody, <laughs> <laughs> the nigga's wearing an AP. I mean, I'll tell you where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he lives. Just give me the waters quarter. are in the safe. I'm, I'm just making that up. Too. They're, out, they're out on display in the open. <laughs> they're just hanging around the kids and putting them on. Bro, watch. You be good tomorrow. It could be fake. I'm not even wearing jewelry tomorrow. The, the uh, niggas who I'm with, they're going to think it's real. They motherfucker don't know what that is. Right. <laughs> Look at her. Just this be is, you, man. You're good. So, oh, you how was, well, you're just backtracking, um, your wife, right? Um, you know, how did y'all meet? Um, so, we went to basic training together. Mm hmm. <clears throat> um, and then we went to AIT together. So you got basic training, and then you got so y'all was like just around each other. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So basic training, you're not allowed to really talk to the females. Okay. 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 So like, I just looked at her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we all was looking, In a creepy way. And, and she was looking, and she was looking. Uh, there you go. Way. There you go. There you go. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, then we went to AIT, and we could we were allowed to kind of conversate more and talk. What's AIT? It's school. It's school. Your school. Your MOS school. So you'll go to basic training where everybody goes, and then. Whatever you the job you pick, everybody can school, be there, right? There's a okay. Certain school for that MLS, to learn that to yeah. learn that school. So we ended up going to Fort Lee, Virginia, for twelve weeks together. Just different, like we were in different MOSs, but in the same same place. So yeah. We, we ended up talking there, and we started dating. And then she was stationed at Fort Drum, New York, and I'm in Pennsylvania, so it was like a five hour yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's how it happened. Huh, okay, I'm I'll prove it. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna have Kenton Yetis for your daughter? He's got a son. I got a son. <laughs> oh, but, but, oh, but you, you, don't, you don't have a. So I have. Her I daughter's have, a, from so, his last one. So okay. my, my, my older kids are from my, my first. My Con, first okay, I got you. Let, got let, you. Me, let me ask you this, too. We gotta go into this. You, when you had Michaela, how old you was like a senior? I was 17. You was oh, 17. Wow. Uh-huh. So a teen dad. Man. So let's talk about that real quick. We can be in a teen dad. It was, it was tough. And like I said, I have Michaela, and then Ariana was born two years later, and then Alex was born two years later. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that's me too. I'm on a two-year track. I'm, I'm having kids every two years. <laughs> We're on the track. Yeah, See, that's but, good. And then I had that big gap, and then boom. And then now you got a new baby. Yeah, you got a new baby? Yeah, his, 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 his son is like a month older than my son, my youngest son. Oh, shit. Okay, all praise. Okay. You know yeah, okay. So like being a, a, a 17-year-old dad, still trying to finish high school, um, and playing bad, I was playing basketball too. So, the uh, Michaela was born right right during basketball season, and wow. my whole basketball career just kind of. He's a point guard. No, no, I was a forward, and I had a scholarship. Man, too. We play big around here, nigga. You think and, you play and he he will beat you? <laughs> 
Is that, is that right? <laughs> he, he will beat you. <laughs> That's but, what he doesn't want to hear, that anybody can beat him. <laughs> mm-hmm. So uh, I lost that, but like uh, it, it made me grow up quick yeah. having kids. So it was a good, I think it, it ended up working out for me. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. I could look, if I, if I could change it, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, we all praise. We don't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Don't just roll with just roll with the punches. Yeah, That's all a, yeah. Like you see, you was having them every two years. Yeah, but so by the time by the time we meet, Alex is the, a little baby. Yeah. So you got how many? Four, four. 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 Yeah. Four now. Look uh-huh. at him. dad. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, got I got some work to do. I you like, see, but you should see. Look, but see, I had I had my first pregnancy when I was 18, but it was miscarried. I had another one at 21, so I so late when I was 24. I always felt like I started late. I knew it was my destiny to be a teen father. I always knew that. Um, they better be no. They better be like I wasn't in Atlanta. If I grew up in Atlanta, <laughs> it was sort of a lot. I'd have a lot of kids. Yeah, lot like, of kids. Oh Jesus, yeah. yeah. right. right. nigga, I'd have had babies, nigga. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You know, <laughs> Nick that's Cannon, crazy. Nick Cannon, uh, Cannon wouldn't Cannon. fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> You that's, wouldn't be able to fuck with me. These girls would have been ruined before any of these niggas. That's got crazy. Them. So you told yourself you knew you was gonna be a teenage father. I just, don't, I just knew it was probably in my cards. All right. Um, I found out very early into high school that um, condoms weren't really a, a thing for me. Oh no, 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 I didn't like him either. <laughs> I knew where this was yeah, going. I was like, yeah, I ain't like him. Not either. like this shit no. is kind of white. No, like if it's you like, like condoms. There's, there's no, there's something wrong with <laughs> you. <laughs> You There's something wrong with you. Like, you know, I'm so happy. Finally, some motherfuckers who think like me. Why? That's Come on, the, man. No. What's the Kinda point? Suck. What's the point of this ain't shit? Ain't no point. No ain't, ain't no point. <laughs> ain't no point. Have some good pull out. Ain't no point. Yeah. See that? Have some good pull out. You know and I'm going to tell you something. I've only gotten three girls pregnant in my life. And, you know, one, I didn't have the baby with, of course. The other oh, two is who I have babies with. So, yeah, you know. So you're, you, you're, you, so you got to I can't really give that stat, but I got. Crazy story, though. I got a vasectomy. I got that shit reversed and had them. Wait, what? See, but no, th- this is this is how far. What do you do is untie? Uh, no. Is that what it is? How does your vice? How does it? They, they snip your. Yeah, tip? they cut it right. They cut your, it and they clamp it. They clamp it. So it's basically they, just they, a, they a they knot versus an unknot. So like, they, they, they they'll cut you, and though they cut me and they put clamps on the on the ends of each tube or whatever. When they when I got the vasectomy, um, and I had to sit on like some frozen peas, and, and then me being me, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna try to use this thing. Like mm-hmm. three days later. Yeah, of course. You know they tell you don't. No, I can't wait. Weeks. I can't wait two I'm weeks. Like, bro, I'm, like, I'm a gloss. Yeah, yeah, no, we're making shit happen. <laughs> Period. <laughs> You're crazy. Well, uh, I played the whole, you know, edge yourself. Yeah, you did. Don't finish. <laughs> I made it worse. Uh-huh. Yeah, my yeah. Just ahead, just for a minute, <laughs> just to see how it feels. <laughs> exactly. Didn't end well for me. Man. I was in pain for like another week after that. Um, but then. Um, when I met my wife, the deal was she wanted to have a child of her own. I said, okay. We looked into it. You're able to get it. It's like a 90% chance. We went to North Carolina, paid like six grand. We didn't think it worked, but about oh. eight months later, it worked. We went to, we took a trip to Florida because it was her birthday and she was just really stressed out and she didn't think that we were going to have a kid. And I think at that point we, we thought our marriage was going to be over. Um, mm. Went there, we came home. She got pregnant. All praise. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a beautiful thing. Yeah. She did have a miscarriage prior to that, and I think that caused issues too. Mm. But, yeah, that, know, that, that happens. Tough. Yeah. But um, I didn't know. Man. It's really like a miracle having a kid. As far as like, it's it it, it seems like. Thinking about it growing up, like, there's a lot of people that have kids, but it's really... There's a lot of people that don't have kids. Yeah, there's a lot of motherfuckers who don't have kids. And who want them and can't have, they have different complications. Yeah, like, what's it's crazy. crazy. Is, so, my, our uncle, he got a vasectomy, uh huh, and it didn't work. That's crazy how it doesn't work because they literally cut your tubes and clamp and <laughs> you're supposed to give samples till you're... Blank. Yeah, till you're blank, yeah. yeah. So there's no more swimmers, right? Yeah. These hoes ain't like, smart. Why the fuck would they Are these hoes smart? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she know that ain't true. She, know she knows that ain't true. Is it true? Yes. Okay, fuck it. These hoes are smart. These hoes ain't smart, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> look, look at these. Look at this yeah. sexist. Yeah. Now, listen, these yeah. hoes. Oh, hold on, I'm not saying no, women are smart. No, listen. I'm saying hoes are smart. No, no, listen, listen. Listen, if these hoes. Now, listen. 
Just because they're not smarter than you don't mean they're not smart. Oh, he God. This guy's an advocate. Oh, the biggest advocate. Know, he's always going to say that. He's always going to say that. I said, he's going to look like a good guy. You're going to look like a good guy. No, no, no. They're smart. No, these well, bitches are playing the fuck out of these I, niggas. I, I, How they not smart? I'm <laughs> saying, when you just said, you said hoes ain't smart. Yeah. So I said niggas ain't smart. I didn't say man. Yeah, ho ass <laughs> niggas, hoes, hoes in general, they ain't smart. At all. Not at all. Not, not, not at all. <laughs> <Not even a laughs> little this nigga is crazy. So that's that's crazy. So you get it reversed, it works. You, we got Dominic. We got Dominic. Yeah, I did uh, not know that was like something that mm-hmm. you could do. It's yeah, like reverse. 90% mm-hmm. chance now, like if you go to the right doctor, they can make it happen. You will pay for it, though. Yes, yeah. that's Our uncle got it done. My son better cure cancer or something. Something, because we paid for you. Yeah. We paid for you to exist, nigga. Bro. To exist. You hang you actually head? get twins, too. I mean, he's a baby. Yeah, so I didn't do that, but I I, I know you're, I'm similar in that kind of field, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's crazy. That field? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Listen, listen, well, listen. No, 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 no. Listen. I'm, 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 he sent smart ass if yeah. you want to know. Yeah, okay, you, you non parent ass nigga. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, 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 yeah, so my wife. This she is could, the parentless yeah. side. Go so my, parent, my, my wife, she couldn't get pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So I had to pay wife fucking $30,000. Just for me, a vitro, right? But but that's just not even guaranteed. Listen, when I went to this place down on Howell Mills, Atlanta, whatever, um, it's actually shocking. That's why I said it's surprising to me. I mean, it's a miracle for people to have kids because mm-hmm. the women that are walking this, into this place from all ages, creeds, whatever, it's like. Well, then you got dudes that have low, like low sperm count. So, but 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 there's not really a high count of that. Yeah. It's more so. It's on, more women it's who more have the women. complication. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and, 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 and women have a more sorry. of a. Women have more of a. a we have Olympic glow gold. Uh, metal swimmers, though. Yeah, no, yeah. Our family. No, no. You don't have a motherfucking oh, no, yeah, baby. Of course, of course. Sure. Like, of course. We're Israel. I got <laughs> tested after uh, I got the got the reversal. Like a month or two later, they they tested oh, me to see what my sperm count was. They're like, "Oh, your sperm count is kind of low." So, it what, what, where was it at? So, because I, I, I was I at 10 million, remember. and I, I think that was, remember. it wasn't low, but it was. It was, it was a pretty yeah, low Yeah, 10 million number. is kind of low. It's kind of low. Like, so I was at 10 million, though. That's a pretty low number. That's and, low. And I was like, I was oh, at shit. Yeah, I was at 10 million. I don't know yeah. if that's. Yeah. Niggas, is spo- you're supposed to be like, what, like more towards like 100 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. They, they taught me that. All right, maybe I was a little higher. Damn, serious? 40 billion. Yeah, I'm sh- I shoot like a billion, though. Personally, <laughs> so what do you think I'm playing? Yeah. Crazy is like, see my kid, you see how strong these yeah, jeans are. Yeah, like, yeah, right. Months after I got the surgery, right, and they're like, your count's low, so you guys might want to consider doing in vitro. So we 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 got we had to order this this shot. It came in the mail. <laughs> we had to keep it in the fridge, right? So crazy thing is, we we got it right after we got back from our trip to Miami, and so then I got a phone call because I got tested again. And they said, "Wow, your count's really, really high again." I said, it "Took a while." They were, yeah. they were, in, they were coming out of retirement. Yeah, they had. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. On. That's what it was. They, they put that jersey on. Yeah, that's like, what it was. We back. And yeah, she was right. pregnant two days later. Yeah, there yeah, we go. That's, there you know, we that's, go. That's deep. So yeah, our, like I said, our uncle, he 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 got it. It didn't work. Um, because his wife, he had got a new wife. His kids, not his kids, our cousin's mom, and she didn't want to have no kids. She wasn't for it. So what they were actually going to do was he was going to get to, well, he got the vasectomy and then he ended up getting into where it worked, but they, they were supposed to adopt my little brother. So my little brother was really supposed to be their kid. Mm. My yeah. parents were going to adopt um, my sister, Alex. For real? Yeah, but my mom obviously was like, no, she found a way to make sure that, that my sisters weren't taken from her like I was. Oh, okay, okay. Cause I was, yeah. She found a way to beat the system. She wasn't. She didn't become a better mother. <laughs> she she, she became, made it look better. She made yeah. it look better like, I, in, in front of people. I'm really learning some things right now. Like, you guys really are. You, you, your whole dynamic is all fucked up, just like Judo, in a good way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, But, like, it's just interesting because I don't know all that much about the Haitian culture. You know what I'm saying? After, Like, you're, like, one of the first people that I've met. How you live in Queens and don't know Haitians? <laughs> I, I knew, I knew she like one. No, I knew like one or two. But you understand, I'm. But, not, but if I'm you're not, if you're not going to their house, that's the, you just exactly, think there's black people. Exactly. <laughs> you like, don't think the, the first people. time I moved to Queens, or one of the first like few weeks, somebody said you were Haitian. I didn't know what the fuck Haitian was. Well, you yeah, know, if you ain't on the West Coast, you understand, yeah, like nigga, it's yeah, I, black, we didn't have Samoan, white, and <laughs> Mexican. Mexican. Nigga, that's that's it. it. Like you probably had some. Jamaicans, you probably had, but, but like, you didn't know. You didn't yeah. know. It's, just, it's, it's not culturally people. expressed that. Yeah, way. exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like New York is yeah, a cultural grow up with no city. At all. So like, it's just hearing the dynamics. Like, damn, y'all just like us. 
Yeah, right, yeah. Right. All, all the Caribbean oh, is Oh, hell yeah. Huge. Caribbean's crazy in New York. They're in Atlanta right now. Who? Like Jamaicans? Jamaicans? They've been there, though. That was in, like, in New York. Uh, there are Jamaicans there out here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 especially uh, Trinidad. Is from New York. Well, no, what? no, really, that's not it. Really, yes, half yeah. the niggas in Atlanta. From the for, for, no, no, for, half the niggas from New York were really already from like Atlanta yeah. and Alabama and shit. Anyway, they just moved north for real. Mm-hmm. That's really, that's mm-hmm. really how the shit went. I don't feel that you know what I'm saying? You said what? I think half the niggas in Atlanta is New York niggas. I mean, but every nigga in this country came from the South anyway. So, well, I mean, they're, they're, they just went back. I'm talking about them specifically, not their grandpa. Okay. For real? Yeah. Oh, no, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, nah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah, but go, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 yeah, no, no, Queens. no, Yeah, Queens, yeah, no, nah, it was just, it was just, you know, interesting. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, you like, re- y'all, you y'all really hate, not gonna know too. Nah, you, you ain't gonna know. House. Haitian niggas, y'all just like us. Okay, we Catholic all and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't, motherfuckers don't even know about, like, we're Catholics. That's the big difference. Niggas are like, what are all these fucking Jesus pictures? Yeah, yeah. That's the difference. We ain't gonna find out. What you was, you grew up in, your parents with the church? Yeah, San Diego. For real, what church? What kind of church? <laughs> they were huh? Lutherans. Oh, he, 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 me and him. Me and, well, they made me. They made me go to church oh, until wow. I was sixteen when I got confirmed, and then I stopped going. There was days where I was. You like, went to the confirmation so you grew up and then stopped going. No, he went Luther. He was Luther. What the fuck Luther. Is the What's the difference? You, see, you don't understand the sacraments, my nigga. You didn't come up in this shit. Hold right? on. Well, he, when you said, go to he, he said, "What's the difference? Cal is Cal. Cal no, no, no. For first, okay. Protestants, protest." Right from Catholic Church. That's yeah. the first denomination that leaves the Catholic Church. Protestants started by. Hold on, shut up, man. Started by Martin Luther, right? Yeah, Luther. That's where you get got, Luther got from. that. Got then that. Then there's a split in Protestantism to say, okay, y'all ain't doing what Martin Luther was doing. We're finna be the Lutherans because we're on point with what Martin Luther. That's where Luther comes from. Got gotcha, you, kind. Okay. You got Baptists and all that. It's the Church of Jesus Christ and Latter Day Saints. Right? <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> 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 Nigga, Edif- Mormons. Edification. Purpose. Mormons. Mormons. Okay. We His grandmother's that. a Mormon. Is yeah, she really? My grandma was. Uh, ca- well, no, is Catholic. I'm Your grandma is Catholic. Catholic? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Catholic. I was in the Catholic Church. They tried all right? to make me my wife. Catholic. I don't know anything Catholic. about Catholic. Of course. Yeah. Guadalupe, you're, you're all of, of course. Basically, yeah. if you're Haitian or Latino, you're, you're, you're Catholic. mostly ca- Catholic. Catholic yeah. Angelica. And, yeah. Angelica, we, we, because the English really came on uh, uh, to Nigeria and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Anglican, that's King James and them. They broke off and did the Anglican thing. It's just an English Catholic. Right. That's really all it is. You know what I mean? Real interesting when you get to look at all where all this shit comes damn from. Damn Catholics and Christianity. You was a damn... What was you into? I was non I was non <laughs> You were going to fucking New Venture. That's right. A, scandal, a scandalous right, ass church, That's nigga. That's right, nigga. I was. I was. That pastor was in her fucking on shit, bro. He, he was? By the time, like... What's his name? Pastor Stan? I don't remember. Stan Lee? I didn't go there. Okay. Like, you didn't Just go there? The that was the biggest church in Oceanside. Yeah, all, all the, the, only all the black people. You know, I'm going there. I'm a Catholic. I don't go there. I go to the damn church with the Mexicans, bro. But where <laughs> did you go, though? Like, I don't even... The only church I went to is the church, I think it's St. Francis, I think. It's on Vista Way, St. Francis. Right but by, I, didn't, I was never right going there. Right by, water, by the water park? Yeah, over there. I went in there, but but not a lot. I brought, by that time, bro, I wasn't, I wasn't in church. Yeah, right you there, was over there by, uh, uh, what's that school? Trinity? Tr- Trinity? No, Tri-City Christian. Tri-City Christian. Yeah, but, but past that. But yeah, Tri-City Christian. Yeah, yeah. They sold Tri-City Christian. It's a whole like private monastery now. Oh, okay, cool. All yeah, right. last time I went out, I seen it. But yeah, I wouldn't really. When I, when I, once I moved out there, bro, I wasn't going to church like that. Okay, okay. I mean, the niggas just running the street. Yeah, I, gr- I grew up on New Venture, bro. Fucking yeah. yeah, but all the kids. That's when Crumpet. Remember when Crumpet came out? Yeah, absolutely. When Crumpet came out, or the, the thing to do was to go to New Venture and fucking Crump. They, they were Crumpet for Christ. Listen, man. Literally. Crumping for Christ. Yeah. for Christ. Them niggas, them niggas. Them niggas, niggas were doing all this shit. You know, it was Crumping for Christ. Christ? Yes. So, um, that was all the yeah. thing. Listen, bro. Either, either if you was black at that time in that area, you was either Crumping for Christ or you was full-fledged game. Mm-hmm. You, it was you, That's two it. choices. That's it. It was one or the other. Uh, Captain cool. Underpants? Of course. You know the principal's name was uh, Principal Crump. Crump, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> what a what a fucking fact. Yeah. New, New, New Venture was damn near a safe haven. It was a school. It was a playground. It was a fucking daycare. It was everything. Yeah, yeah. You know that was like, that was like the hub of, of the black community. Absolutely, absolutely, community. absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, for sure, absolutely. for sure, absolutely. I wasn't going to that motherfucker. Yeah. about a goddamn thing. That should attracted a lot of people from San Diego County though, because uh, you know John Carney, who was a kicker for the Chargers. Yeah, the yeah, uh-huh. yeah. He, you know, he was there. Didn't he go Junior to the Rock? Junior I went there. Huh? Didn't he? Didn't he switch to the Rock? Didn't he become like a, a pastor at the Rock? Maybe I, I I left at that time. Okay. I left when I was like seventeen, which yeah. was like two thousand and one, or something oh, like that. Two thousand, yeah. 
left, yo. So, all that, nigga. That's no. when that's when you came on the scene and started wrecking this shit. Two thousand four, I came on the scene. Okay, like, yeah. So and they yeah. shot me rather rather quickly. They didn't like, like I said, he was wrecking shit up. <laughs> they didn't like me fast. <laughs> yeah. Let's shoot this nigga. This nigga's tripping. <laughs> that's funny. That's you funny. Know, uh, Wait, I, I got one thing about the Marines. I I want to add because um, you know, the people want to know. <laughs> the emails. Yeah, the people want to know. The emails are coming through fast. Um, <clears throat> I like to think of myself as an athlete. I feel like I can go through basic training easily. Mm. What do you, I mean, I, I, you never see me, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> you never is, basic, is basic training easy? No. Uh, <laughs> basic, basic training is not difficult, but basic training for the Army is different than uh, Marines. Okay. Marines is a bit more hard. It's, it's, it's harder. My dad used to tell me some stories, yeah. basic training for the Army, I can't really speak on it. Cause I'm not there. I, I when I went, it was it was more difficult. It's it's stressful. It, they put through put you through a lot of stressful situations. You get like no sleep, um, and it's tough. But that's the whole point. They build. They break you down to build, build you up. up. Yeah, of course. Um, but Marine or boot camp is different. And I mean, I I've never experienced it, but I've heard things. I've heard stories about it. I'm sure you you could you would get through it though. Like okay. You can usually look you're, at you're somebody. Physically. You know, <laughs> is right. that like the Navy? That's not the Navy, is it? Yeah. No, no. Boot camp is... Uh, actually, yeah, that is. Because Navy and Marines... They go together, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I like to think, honestly, bro, like, I used to... I didn't see him, but... This could be wishful thinking, but... I think I can endure bugs. <clears throat> yeah. I think I can, because I'm not afraid of the water. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't think <laughs> you know what buds is? About him or about yourself? I don't think I can, but I don't think you can. <laughs> Do you know what buds is? I bet you'll no. tell me your social security number if I waterboard you for 30 seconds. No. You know <laughs> you, you know what buds is? Uh-huh. Buds is a Navy SEAL trainer. Yeah, oh, that's, that's you know, a Navy yeah, SEAL. You know it's in San Diego. Yeah, of yeah. course. You know what so, Navy SEALs do too? What? They we had always, a Navy SEAL. They always, they always yeah. write books for real? too. For real? Yeah, Raquan. You don't know Raquan? Cuban from oh, from Miami. He was a Navy. Nah, yeah. no, I'm man. just thinking about her. My friend, my friend is. In oh yeah, you posted yeah. that dude that uh, was hitting me up earlier. Oh oh, he's he's Navy guy. He's Navy, yeah. Okay, so we make fun of the Navy. Yeah, we make fun of the Navy. They're soft. It's not even that. I, I, we call them. Seamen. 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 Oh oh, okay. Seaman. Seaman. Yeah, yeah. Seaman. Seaman. Oh, oh, okay. You're on a ship with a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Semen. It's just it's mainly just branched on branch. You guys are gang banging, man. You yeah. guys are gang banging. No, you, you remember what they used to say in Oceanside though about the Marines used to say we're the biggest gang in the world. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. You do know that the Marines come from the Navy. Of course, the, the Marines are they belong to the Department of the Navy technically. Oh, so they don't got their own department. They they do. Yeah, we call them their own branch, but we like to joke because <laughs> y'all got to ride on the boat with them niggas anyway, right? Marines do. We yeah, don't. yeah. Well, they, well, they do. Yeah, they Army, so we ain't going. We, nigga. Fly, we ain't on boats, yeah. nigga. We don't get on no boats. So my question is the million dollar question is it's something called the Air Force, right? When I see your content about the Air Force, I got my, my little homeboy. I'm so proud he's in the Air. He's on. Oh, he went to the Air Force. He's a recruiter now. Smart. He owns properties. He was in the Air Force. Whatever. Smart. I'm talking about smart nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's like one of my pride. He's like a pride project. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know, y'all niggas have met him. We went to Encore with him. Oh. We went to Encore with him. Mm-hmm. Dark skin one. Dude from uh, Ozai? Yeah, nigga. Oh, I didn't know he was in. I didn't know he was in the Air Force. Guys. I'm telling you though that he's in the Air Force. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. So yeah. so yeah, but he's recruiting now. Okay. Or oh, whatever. But like, so I've seen the content you make about the Air Force, right? What is it about this Air Force, man? Why do Why do they get treated so good? Because they they're, so they score high. They have to score higher in their ASVAB for one. Okay, you got to be smarter to yeah, be in Air Force. Just, you got to be smart. Be better. I don't know. I don't really have an answer for that. <laughs> but the fact that they are, they get the better shit. They get the better food. They get the better DFAC, which is the 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 place you get food from. Uh-huh. They don't go to the field ever. Um, they don't work full days. They probably don't even have to do PT, and if they do have to do PT, it's not the shit we do. Yeah, uh-huh. so they're like the brain of you guys, yeah. right? They're like, yeah, okay. They're bougie. They're, 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 they're the bougie niggas. The Air yeah. Force I'm, niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm an Air Force nigga. Bro. I get her in the sky. I just yeah. made a video. Yeah, with and the, with I think that that's hard to be in the sky. 
You don't think so? I think so. Yeah, hell yeah. To fly, I mean, I can't fly. But it's also hard to be in the Navy. Fly stuff, to me, man. I thought I think it would be hard to be yeah. in the Navy too, underwater. Like if you're on a submarine. But, but you're like, not. I mean, I they're on a. So. I mean, I don't know. They're on a boat though. They're on an aircraft. It's, any, it's barely anything that happens in the water. I would say that now. I, mean, I haven't heard anything. Russia because then there's submarines. Because because that, 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 that's that, that, their that's thing. That's what I think. I'm thinking not the boat. I'm not the naval ship. I'm thinking like submarines. I don't know how often people. But everybody ain't in a fucking sub. But but how long are they down there for though? Right. In the submarine, when you can, like, I don't know. like six months, four, seven months. Not in the submarine, no, no. I no don't they, they're not long. there that long. I guess it depends on what mission they're on. If it, a, that's a, scary, a bro. I don't want to be in no fucking water I like that, bro. That was in the navy. They they couldn't be down there that long because he was okay. Still, three months. I mean, yeah, you can like, be down there for three months. In and out because he was texting me, and it wasn't that long. Listen. Just think about it. You can't be submerged that long. Bro. True, but I'm just saying they probably go somewhere, come up. Yeah, the pressure, but it's yeah, underwater. In that close proximity, underwater, not you can't see shit. But but the average I'm scared. the average navy nigga is on a fucking aircraft carrier, or not in a submerged. Yeah, okay, so they're but they're on there for six months. Yeah, they're on that they're, boat. They're, they can be on a boat for or a ship for six months. I don't know like how that. motherfuckers be jumping off that damn and boat they're, they're in the ocean in the like middle this. of nowhere. So like Fuck that. On top of each other, so you have yeah. three bunks. And you literally only have enough room to lay in there and Jesus maybe roll Christ. over a little bit. That's worse than jail, nigga. We got three. We got more room than that. It, in, it, in, it, in, it, in the it, county. Six <laughs> on, then what? Then they then they're on land for a bit. Damn. And they do whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we used to be real informative. And we, listen, I remember we got we was we was teaching in in uh, downtown San Diego. Two Navy guys come. We end up getting into two white Navy guys. They end up getting their ass whipped. So the cops the cops come. And they tell the Navy guys, they, they looked at them, true drunk Navy guy looked at them. Because if you're downtown San Diego, like, you got yeah, barracks. Base, like, yeah, right there. It's, yeah. it's, you know, you can walk. These niggas are just walking off base and coming, getting drunk and kicking it. Mm. So they're like, fuck back to the barracks. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So they turn, this nigga come back. He hits the corner. And, and mind you, it's too, it wasn't even the one that started it. And he's coming to, like, apologize again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he locked his ass. He said, I told you not to see you. Lock this ass up, man. Asshole. <laughs> it was fucking. No, we laughed, whatever. Fuck him. You know, you shouldn't have came start shit. Because he ended up getting his ass whipped for his boy. Uh-huh. And he was really being the peacemaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But niggas, they were doing too much. They were doing way <laughs> too much. But it was mm. hilarious that the cops... Gave that nigga a chance and he came back just to get fucking locked up. San Diego for you. At San Diego though. At San like, Diego. When I was for a you. when I was a freshman, bro. When I was a freshman, a nigga from Insane, C Lo from Insane. Uh huh. Bro, I, a Marine stabbed him to death. Stabbed him to death, bro. This this is a high school kid. You know what I'm saying? Stabbed his ass to death. You know, so um that was kind of our relationship with the Marines is like, yeah, we don't like you niggas. You nah. niggas come and trick on the girls. Yeah, you know they've always been hated. That's though. it. You they've niggas always been hated. And you're tricking on the girl. You niggas got your money and you don't have nothing to do That's with it. That's it. So and you you don't have, you, you're you living on the base. That's it. So you just get your check. You know what I mean? You're coming to trick on Friday shit, nights, bro. We ain't got no money. And we're, you know what I mean? No, no, we're we ain't broke. got no fucking money. <laughs> no, matter of fact, yeah. No, no, yeah. no seriously, bro. You don't understand, bro. They used to take all the fucking girls and these girls would go for it because they. They wanted older men, and these niggas is just around with their fucking bowl haircuts. You know what I'm saying? Bowl haircuts. You know what I'm saying? You know saying? He pissed me off. We used yeah. to fight these no, niggas, No, no. He used to, he used to be up with the Marines. Like, for they real, like, oh, bro. Like, these are Marine niggas over there. Like, nah. You know, but like you said, your freshman year, bro, there's little niggas. Ninja insane. motorcycles got, and shit. He got stabbed, bro. They stabbed that nigga to death, man. You know what I'm saying? Over, I don't even know what the problem was. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Stabbed his ass to death. This mm-hmm. is a, a kid, though. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um. So that was good. So from there, I mean, that's freshman year. So from there, like we're like, yeah, it was some fucking marine shit. And then, mind you, during that time, if if in you know, Oceanside, if you was a crib, you hanging out at the beach, like the beach the was time. the spot. But that, All the, time. the marines are like, All that, the that's time. their spot too. All the you time. Know what I'm All so the time. There was a lot of clashes. Yeah, yeah, that was absolutely. Going on absolutely. That time There's nowhere to the kick marines. it for them but the beach. Like you, ain't, you ain't gonna kick it but you know, the back where gate. Camp, where Camp Pendleton is is like, there's a, they, they can go to the beach in Camp Pendleton though, because there's a beach on the base. There's shit there. Yeah, but people aren't there. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? They yeah, gotta, yeah. They gotta come into right. the town. You right. know what I'm saying? But like you said, you can't kick it at the back gate. It's just residential. It's like over there. Like you get, you go to the back gate outside. It's just houses. It's how it's the hood too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but yeah, we we was clashing with the Marines a, a lot, a lot during that time. You know what I'm saying? But um. You know, it is what it is. The Marine Corps kind of got the, the – the Air Force is the bougie niggas. The Marine Corps, they got kind of the bad rap. Navy got a little bit of one. The Army is like <laughs> – it's the Army. What can you say? It's the yeah. motherfucking U.S. Army, nigga. What what can you really well, say? If you was to join the military, what, what, what would you go? I wouldn't join the military. Yeah, I'm if, saying if, nigga. if. That's why I put if. If. Um, 
Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank I want to be the niggas yeah. who press the button to send nukes. Oh, my God. This nigga want to be doing... What, what no, you got to be like a top <laughs> nigga. Yeah. yeah. You got to yeah. 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 fucking rank up for that. Yeah. All right, okay. All right. So what? So, so, what, so what's that? That's an army, that's an army thing? That's an army thing. So you have to be an army. So you so so you want the army, bro. There's called nuclear... Do you want the nuclear triad is? What's the nuclear triad? This is where he's on his bullshit. I'm not... You know He know he does this. There's a new branch. It's called the button pusher. No, listen. Stop. No, no, listen. The nukers. <laughs> the nuclear triad uh-huh. is is the ways that they dispense nuclear bombs, uh-huh. which is via air, uh-huh. via sea, uh-huh. or via nuclear silo, which okay. is in the earth. Yeah, in the earth, yeah. The, the most popular way to dispense a nuke is via fucking nuclear submarine. Uh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna be on the submarine <laughs> pressing the fucking button. Can we concur that this, is sir? Not Marines. <laughs> that is the uh, the Navy. Can we concur this, sir? Is that sir? true? It's- and I'm out with that. Does he have a point? <laughs> that's true. He no. just. How is that not that's true? That's not true. It's not true. Okay. What, what part would I say is not true? Everything. All of it. All of it. Ah! So All what's right. the nuclear triad? You are full of shit. Ah! I mean, you're right about the nuclear triad. There is a nuclear triad. Okay. That is correct. And what's but, the most popular but here's my thing, though. of a nuke? You don't get. But here, it sounded right. good, though. Hold on, though. It sounded real good, though. It's no, listen, true. No, it's, but, it but, is but true. But listen, just because you push the button don't mean you called the shot to push the button. That's true. You uh, got to get permission. I have, you gotta, no, no. You you're getting the call. have to get permission. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You're just not <laughs> No, legally. What's that I movie with Gene Hackman? I don't give a fuck about no legally. You 571. <laughs> you 571. Oh, yeah. Come on. No, but no. He had to get permission, Hold on, bro. But, uh, honestly, what I said was true, though. I'm dead serious. What I said was. How was nuclear try. He said there's a nuclear try. But I'm saying that's. that. The, the most popular way to send a nuke is, or not popular, the, the main way that the United States of America would send a nuke is via a nuclear submarine. How many nukes has the United States of America sent? Uh, I mean, they've only sent two in history. But, uh, <laughs> That's it. So, so most popular. I mean, it's only been two. But, but that was 80 Man, years how ago. How did they do it? That was via the, uh, by a plane. But that was 80 years ago, though. So then how do we know that a submarine is the best <laughs> way Because to the, the, the submarines carry the United States' most popular form of, of a missile, which is the, uh, sort of a T, um, Trident missile. Hey, hey, this nigga, this nigga good. Yeah, Trident missiles on the. This nigga good. Uh, Okay. Okay. Hey, he know a little something. He he know he did his little. He did his little fucking research. Hey, this nigga good. I did that before he came here. Yeah. You said this. No, no, no. no, no, This is all him. No, because like he said the no, nuclear I'm talking shit, Honestly, heard. I would like to be um I would probably like to be like a Navy SEAL. Me too. Yeah. That, that's a SEAL a, though? Yeah, yeah bro. That's, elite, that's, that's the only fun I'm part, bro. Yeah, to I me. Want, I want to be the nigga that's it's the training, bro. I like the intense training. Like that's the shit that will spark my You're fucking a mind. No, I'm I had just a choice I'm just... between an Army Ranger and a Navy SEAL. Navy SEAL. Wow. All praises. And I know a lot of Army Rangers. Me too. The only well, thing y'all like to do is not wear a shirt. <laughs> and yeah, shit. and they fucking surf in and the make, fucking you cold. You made content right? about that on yeah, TikTok. Yeah, yes. That's, yeah, yeah. I had my shirt off during that video. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just an Army Ranger. And my friend that's here right now with us uh, at the hotel, mm-hmm. he's a ranger. Mm-hmm. Is he? You ain't shit. <laughs> and I want that nigga to know that. Don't edit that out. Yeah, no, no, we're leaving that. <laughs> that's right. Yo, no, so, no, so, so, Navy SEALs is probably one of the that's most, where it's most badass. That's where it is? But I, heard, I, I thought, aren't rangers a... In my opinion. A, but not a... No, the, maybe. Training is, the training for Navy SEALs is more depth. Rangers is... They're above Navy SEALs, though, right? Like, they're the guys that you come in to clean up maybe the Navy SEALs? No. No. I'm wrong. Well, I, I, I just... I don't think that's true. Honestly, Navy How can SEALs, you clean up a Navy SEAL? Navy SEAL is just a different level, in my opinion. It's almost so like Force, over so here. So every branch has their own... Version of that? Of so, elite version? So you know what the Air Force has? They have the, the paratroopers. They have, yeah, they have yeah, PJs, yeah, yeah, yeah. The PJs. And they're they're their... So they're like the Army Rangers. But yeah. Different. What about the Space Force? Uh, nobody knows much about them. They're, 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 <laughs> of course they It's in development, they're, right? They're it's in development. In development. Of in course. Development. No, that's the thing, nigga. Did you, Space Force. I saw something that today. That comes from the yeah. Star Wars program, nigga. Absolutely. Don't forget about I that. I saw something today that, <laughs> ironically, out of nowhere, uh, America is thinking about mm-hmm. going back to the moon today? Or, 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 or in the incoming future. Oh, for real? Yes. Yeah. I, I saw it. There, there's talk. Did you also hear about the whole... The whole us going to the moon back in the day was staged. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. I believe it too. The day, we never whole, been. I to think the it's moon. a whole. We never been to the moon. I thought that was. I Prove it. Was, Don't you say yes? They've been. No, they didn't say it was fake. They didn't say it was fake. No, they never said it. I saw something the other day where they're really, really talking about it. And I, how, I don't know. How popular is Joe Rogan in the uh, United States military? <laughs> what? Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Is he? Do people listen to him? You know, talk about Joe. 
no, never. never. That means yes. Yeah. <laughs> that hey, is popular. No, listen, though. listen. Is that what is that who sells Alpha Brain? Does he? Phil, yeah. Joe Rogan, he's got the podcast? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he sells this pill called Alpha Brain that people are taking that's supposed to, that makes you... That's a placebo. Your yeah. brain function uh-huh. high levels. Oh, yeah. And you're, like, yeah, uh-huh. and you're, you're focused and shit. And I'm like, man, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I believe the hype, but mm. people really make well, this shit I, out to I, be something. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, that. <laughs> that. Yeah. See, she was doing that in college, Adderall writing Adderall the papers, nigga. That's, 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 that's a hell of a drug. That's a meth. Listen, my little, listen, listen. No, no, it is meth. It is meth. It is. My little brother, our, 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 I took meth. I took meth. Our little, our little brother called me and the little homie. That's my damn crime me on my case. They called me, nigga, off Adderall one day, nigga. All they, they were rapping. All they do just was rapping nonstop. Bro. They're like, nigga, come, we high on Adderall, nigga. Bro. I got something for you. I'm talking about, I could just, I could just <laughs> feel their energy through the phone, Listen. nigga. They were rapping Listen. nonstop. Nigga. I took Adderall a few times, bro, and let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> I probably felt like you at the time. <laughs> like how you probably operate. How I feel all the time. Regularly. I just wake that, up that, like that. That's how I felt <laughs> normally, bro. And I can talk. I just, I was on the top of my game, bro. Like I just, I didn't, I'm not going to say I knew everything, but everything that came out of my mouth was great. It was well, great. Yeah, and I couldn't tap, talk. No, but I'll what tap I think, the no, fuck no, in. What I think it is, though. Serious. Is, well, not with Adderall. Adderall, of course, is drug induced. But even like with the Alpha Brain and certain supplements like that, yeah. I think a lot of that shit is placebo, and a lot of it is like you're being told this is not out, not Adderall. Yeah. But you're being told this is going to do this, and then you and you, and you yeah, believe absolutely. it, and then you just start functioning like that. And I mean, I, I'm not mad at him for getting his money that way. It's fine as long as you're not hurting anybody. Long, long as there's not like dramatic side effects with it. Mm-hmm. Fucking great. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sometimes people need that. You know, placebos mm-hmm. are. You know, a real thing. It's it's been it's a, been observed too much in science to say that you know mm-hmm. people if they believe it enough, mm-hmm. this shit will start working. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, you know? what, 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 what uh, Air Force? Not Air Force, but what sector would you go in? Though? I went army. You went army? I want to go to army. I mean, come on, like my grandpa was in army. Hoorah! My, Maybe that's what you no, mean. That, that, hoorah is a, no, that's, 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 that's the Marines. That's Marines. That's, yeah. mm-hmm. My grandpa was in army. My great grandpa. <laughs> see, so my our our, our, our great grandpa was in World War One. Our grandpa was in World War II, Vietnam, nigga, Korea. He was in all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I just to continue the tradition, if I was going to... Like, when I was in first and second grade, I knew I was going to the Army. Like, that was what I was thinking yeah. in my mind. All right, then the third grade, you know, baby. Then what happened around second grade was... What, what are you pointing at, man? What's funny about that? <laughs> Bro, I'm not laughing at you. You story. thought you were going to be a pro athlete, That's right? Not, now now look what he story. became. We know when he peaked out. We know when he peaked out. 15. Uh, 15. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. That's go okay. Ahead. <laughs> Um, it's not, but <laughs> I want you feeling secure. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel secure. Oh my god! Go ahead, go ahead. Because I wasn't laughing at you. Okay, okay. I wasn't. But go yeah, ahead. so then about second grade, man. Um, you know, second grade. Uh, you know, my my goals in life maybe had to change. Of course. You know, I got introduced to. Uh, the n- the I gotta introduce to quite a concept. <laughs> yeah, it's Ooh, called you know we're gonna, we're gonna get, it's cripping. It's why I introduced it. So you know we we we, we want to do well, we that start army. Going to that's, army. that's some, some type of some type of army. Yeah. Yeah. Some type of army. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, Hilltop yeah. Crips had a shootout with arm with Army Rangers. That happened, right? You know about that story? No. Nigga, the Hilltop they Crips lost. had a shootout with a well nobody lost because nobody fucking died. Nobody even actually got shot. It was just a lot of no, shots. People yeah. Didn't get shot. Nobody got shot. People checked into hospitals like two hours away. <laughs> yeah, because that that happened. It happened. Um, so there, there was a huge shootout. It was, this is this is if you bring it up around certain ar- older army vets, Rangers especially though, they was, they know about this. So mm-hmm. niggas was on Ash. It's called Ash Street Shootout. They had nigga open air crack market in on Ash Street on the hilltop, and um, so army Rangers own a house on the block. They got fucking sick of all this dope, <laughs> all this dope getting so, and niggas banged it out with them on the on, on it. But nobody, nobody actually even got shot though. But it was a lot of rounds on the streets, a lot of rounds. What do you, what do you think about the guy? What's that movie? Uh, what's his name? Kyle, the movie that uh, Mark Wahlberg starred in. American he put, Sniper. Was it American Shooter? Sniper? You talking about Shooter? Not no, Shooter. No, 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 no. That's last a great movie. Man standing. The Last Man Standing. I don't know that. So oh, Soul Survivor. Soul, Soul Survivor. There we go. So I talked to a ranger. My wife's cousin is a was a ranger and he knew some of those people I have the book. he knew some of those people well he, he he served with those same people that came in and rescued that guy mm-hmm. 
And I asked him his thoughts. We were on the beach. We were in Long Beach, New York. And I asked him, you know, his thoughts on that. And he was just like, dude, he's a fucking pussy, bro. Just straight like, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, bro, you you die with your guys. That's what he's like, yo, you die with your men. You die with your guys. He's like, if that was me on that mountain all alone. You would just die? He's like, <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, I'm listening to you. I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, so let, let me you don't want to survive at all. Seriously. He was like, no, bro. If, 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 if I have eight men, seven men Did like that, die? and I'm the only guy, like, I'm, I'm dying while I'm in. I'm going to go out shooting. I'm going to make sure I don't come home. I'm like, all right, that's go cool, bro. I'm like, is what he did, and he survived. And he, he just didn't yeah. go out. <laughs> yeah. He barely survived. My man had broken bones. He was shot. He was. He almost didn't make it. But, like, your men are dead, right? It's not your fault. You did what you could. He did what he could. He lost his men. If I lost my men, I'm not... I, did they did they die? For, do, you, do you want them to think feel like you maybe they died for a reason or they didn't die for a reason? Like you want you guys you you completed your mission you didn't. I don't even think they completed their mission. Mm-hmm. They almost got they got they started getting fucked up before they even completed their mission because they uh, I think they saw kids mm-hmm. and it ended up like all right I don't want to do this and it, it turns south. But if I'm in if I'm in that situation I'm 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 tr- at that point if your guys are dead. It's on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta get Survival on. Survival mode. Yeah, I guess the way he looked at it, because I don't know. I get it. I Rangers have a, a certain. That's a old yeah, yeah. That's Rangers have a certain code. Oh, I'm gonna die with my yeah. Man. I get that. Like we're 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 all we all bleed green. Da da da. But listen, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home to, I, have, I have kids. And I'm like, <laughs> do you think that I want to just because I I I have these brothers that I've I've been fighting with. I've deployed with. That I have this family that's my kids and my wife. That are really dependent on me. To come home. Mm-hmm. But see, that's the thing. I guess these guys get, like, to your point to what you were saying earlier, these guys get so submerged in the, and, hey, I believe, you know what I'm out, saying? they're still submerged. Exactly, right? That's that's why Vet 22 and all these, and what you're doing, you know, so great yeah, to the community. It, it, like that, these, but see, that, that happens in, 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 in so many walks of life, right? Because what, what's so crazy to me is the parallels between what I hear, stories I hear about the military and stories I hear about prison. Mm. That's the craziest. Like, those things are paralleled. Absolutely. Because a lot of these niggas are, you know, number one, the, the, the living uh, situations, uh, conditions are similar, right? Yeah. And a lot of these guys, they, they are going to battle. They're having fucking prison riots, which is really like some a real old school style of, mm-hmm. of war because it's, it's, there's no projectiles, nigga. We're just running up and having physical, banging it out. And certain guys that get out of jail, they don't know what to do. Like I remember I went to, when, my first time I went to county, I went to San Diego County Jail and I seen this dude in there, old, old black dude, Gentry. And um, he kind of was like a jailhouse legend because they're like, yeah, this nigga went, he beat a murder pro per, meaning he, no lawyer, he beat a murder by him. That's his yeah. own attorney, right? And um, he was back in jail. And I seen him, I met him there. And then maybe a year later, I see him at the Vista Transit Center. Mm, getting on the train. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he, there was this older essay there. And they don't even know each other, right? I get off the train, I see him. He's like, man, I, let, I see you in the county, right? I'm like, yeah. And it's an older essay that he doesn't know. But they are bo- they both recognize something about each other just by looking at each other. They're institutionalized. It's hell. So they immediately, like, just are like this. You know what I'm saying? And start watching each other's back at this bus station like it's prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. they recognize that about each other. And they're, they're out of prison now, yeah, yeah. but they're not out of prison. Well, this, you think about it, it's like the prison you have it's basically the same as the military. You got you get three hots, you mm-hmm. get a bed. Um, paid for. I mean, you're not paying for you're it. Not paying for it. Obviously, <laughs> in prison, you're you're in prison. Mm-hmm. So, in army, you have freedom, certain freedoms. But certain you're still freedoms. not total. Like, yeah, not total freedom, but you still have some more freedoms than jail. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> so it's not it's not the it's obviously not the exact, exact same thing. comparison, but mm-hmm. there's similarities. Similarities, yeah. and then you see it, yeah. and then there's different walks of life too. Where if people spend enough time like that, there's kind of like that. And again, mind you, this is an essay and, and a brother. So in prison yard, this is that's typically odds. Mm-hmm. But when they seen each other on the street, they just they merged on that level. Absolutely, like, yeah. We're two niggas. That they know. Spend a lot of time in prison. They know. So yeah, we understand each other better than the rest of the people that's um 
that's around this mother right now. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty crazy, you know. But like you said, just going back to that, going out with your men, I feel it. It's there's you know there's 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 a, a sense of honor and dignity that can come in that. But if it doesn't have to happen like that, I don't see why I make it happen like that. <laughs> what? Like if I made it, like yeah. I yeah. made it. I'm not gonna just yeah. I, I was there, it, nigga. You know? I can't leave and go home. I'm, I'm fucking thousands you know, I'm, of miles away. I'm, I'm ready for it to go be like that if that's how it's gotta yeah. be. But yeah. if it don't have to be yeah. like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 you know, I, I'm not in on this, but apparently from from his because I only know his, him his as war- a his from, warped <laughs> from his from his mindset. Like a lot of him and his brothers feel like he was a pussy. He uh, basically he. Uh, that's also probably he, them mad because he be successful, uh-huh. yeah, right? Yeah, and then they wrote a book. They made a movie about him, and now these people are like, man, fuck this dude. And it's like, I get that. As far as that, they that you're supposed to be there for your team, but when your team is gone and it's just you, nine times out of ten, that person is going to want to survive. Mm-hmm. That he, your friend, that that one person, at this point is like, no, I want to die with my guys. If you get to die with your guys, it's because you have no other option. Exactly. That's how I feel. About yeah. That, so. The greatest movie in history to me about the army is. Let's see if you remember this one. Matter of fact, I'm not going to even say You might know it, too, because if you're like your brother, you, you might be. Are you a movie guy? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. This is family. We're more movie Okay, family. Okay, so, so so I'm going to give you a scenario. I'm not going to give you the movie. So I'm not going to even give you the character. So, Saving Private Ryan. Shut the hell up. No. That's too, that's too obvious. Yeah, yeah, come on. See, 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 see. This is I, not remember, yet. I remember when Saving Private Ryan came out in theaters and what yeah. people were saying about it. Um, <laughs> in the de- I'm going to give you just in the desert, mm-hmm. right? Three Kings. Black Hawk Down. Three Kings. No. no, okay, all right. No, 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 no. no. Down, that, 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 that is the most yeah. obvious one. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good movie. Very good movie. I'm, not, I'm born nice. No. Okay, so. <laughs> 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 oh. He threw that out there, damn. He missed the line. He, he missed, missed the line. line. <laughs> you missed the line. No, no, no. This is, uh, in, my, you might, in the desert, uh-huh. mm-hmm. okay, they're stranded. There's four, uh-huh. okay? Um... Their water purifiers. What is this shit? Transformers through. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Transformers, really? Fucking Tyrese is in it, remember? He's, he's a water purifier? I don't fucking know. All right, some niggas in the desert. Fucking armies and shit. Oh, armies and shit. They're in the desert, mm-hmm. stranded, but they're water purifiers. I don't know, man. Ah, come on, guys. They're trying to get out of the situation that they're Obviously, in. Obviously, they're stuck in the desert. <laughs> Who it's, wants to it's be funny. There? It's a funny movie. Oh, it's a funny movie. Oh, my gosh. It's a funny movie? It's a funny movie. That should ring a bell. Sarah. He, no, no. The, the, it's not the army, bro. Yeah, yeah Sarah's it, not the army. It's not the army. And there, no. No. This <laughs> nigga, dog. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't uh, know. Ooh, I would say 1996 oh, or 7. Yeah, so. Maybe. I, I don't know the years, but it's around that time. In the Army now. In the Army now. That's exactly oh, right. Oh, I never saw that. I never saw that. With Polly Shore. Polly. No, I never saw yeah, that. I'm not going to say that. Yeah. I, 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 I immediately thought You said in the 90s. Good shit. You said in the 90s. I'm like, Polly Shore, but I can't remember. How the fuck did you know that? They both just Googled it. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? My phone is not even on me. It's not blue. Did you Google it? She was like this. These two are liars. <laughs> they are like this. Yeah. They're she's, liars. She's, she's like this. Pump water. Oh, he's on Fashion Nova, this nigga. Movie. All right. Did you <laughs> just Google that shit? I was on Instagram. Uh, listen, uh-huh. they went on their phone and found it. Don't yeah. listen to these liars. You've never like, seen that? No, yeah. well, you seen it. I mean, it's a great movie. Great my, movie. You know great movie. Favorite, my favorite, my yep. favorite army movie oh, is... Uh, Full Metal? No. no. Okay. Your, I mean, I know. I, I didn't know. You know what, what I'm saying? Because so. I really uh, need to. Is, uh, we were soldiers. Oh, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. On Vietnam, um, mainly because my dad was in that war. So. Like, oh, your dad was in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Vietnam was brutal. Yeah, bro. Grandpa was in it. This movie, we were soldiers. That's 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 incredible. You know that. Yeah, I googled it. All right, we know. You know. You know. Grandma told you Grandpa left a baby in Vietnam, right? Yeah. Yeah. What? So so we so we have an uncle in Vietnam. That's yeah. cr- so. What was Viet? 
you know, for the, for the people, what was Vietnam re- Vietnam really all about? Communism, right? Yeah. Communism. Communism. And we, it was a war we really weren't even. The Viet Cong. And, and the, everybody was, like, there was, like, we civilians treated the soldiers like shit when they came back, too. Like, my dad got rock thrown at him, spit at, everything, because we were not supposed to. It was... They had all those those hippies during the peace the peace movement. Yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They Vietnam that. was yeah, yeah. Lost they, that. they dis- they destroyed it. I mean, our veterans I mean, came back fucked up, right? Like, on not drugs. knowing yeah. what was going on, and they were smoking weed half the time. Mm-hmm. Like it was it was they brought and they brought back you know, a lot of a lot of heroin. A lot of, yeah, a lot of a lot of pure ass heroin. Yeah. Right. I mean, just watch if you watch American Gangster for Absolutely. the record. Uh, yeah, they're bringing it back, but they're showing you how. They was over there in Thailand and Vietnam. These motherfuckers was shooting dope in their van. That's what, even dead prey. There's a lot of Vietnam is a hell of a time just in American history. Like Cause when it's telling going, everything. Because you have like think about it, that's Muhammad Ali going fuck. I'm not going. Fuck no. Mm-hmm. I'm not lock me up. Mm-hmm. I'm not going. Like all of that is there, and and that's the thing. That a lot of people are even talking about like with the demonization of Kyrie right now is like. These would you have felt the same way about Muhammad Ali that everybody kind of agrees with is like a hero, you know what I mean? But here's Muhammad Ali, he's got this a lot of the similar beliefs that you're mad about. He had them. He was in the Nation of Islam, and he refused. He was a, a draft denier, a draft dodger, or something like that. And they locked him up. He said, "I'll go to jail. I'm not going." Um, that a lot of people were against that. Um, the Vietnam thing, man. Mm-hmm. And like you said, people like the, there was the valor or the honor that uh, uh, the, yeah. the soldiers get. It, it wasn't happening for Vietnam. Yeah. Bitch. He was like, "You were doing what? Yeah, and what the fuck? What, what, what yeah. were you bothering those people yeah. for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying?" And it was yeah. this whole com- anti-communist thing, and, that, and that's the thing too. Like, even when I just found out last week that there were nine million communists killed in the Holocaust, no one has oh, ever yeah, I've never that heard yeah, that, yeah. yeah, ever, yeah. And it's just a regular stat. Like, it, I didn't have to dig anywhere to to find that number. It's like, wait, why are we we only are ever told about this one group of people yeah. in there, like. You mean there was somebody who was killed more than that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, communist. But of course, communism is looked at like, you know, it's the enemy. You know what I'm saying? The communist country. You know, pops. He went over there to Russia. He went over to Russia, nigga. And um, uh, uh, uh I'm talking. My mother was pulling AK-47 military. Mind you, though, you're not supposed to have a gun in Russia, technically, right? You're like you're not. They don't have the right to bear arms. But there's plenty of guns. You mm-hmm. know, they're running. With. My mother was just pulling up broad day, nigga. AK out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tripping with each other, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That was day one in, 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 in Russia. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, you know, so communism was. You know, there was that. Oh, you're a commie. All that stuff from that right, time right, in, right, right. In America, and the American government felt, let's go and invade and let's let's stop communism, and they didn't. <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's uh, that's really crazy. What we got in closing? Anything in closing? We've been here a minute. Semper Fi, do or die. Yeah. Semper Fi? Never. <laughs> Never. No. No. That's who. Who? Who? Can, can you give us a saying, what you guys say? Like, <laughs> that's it. Who? That's it? I don't do I it. There's, it. there's no other speech? <laughs> uh, no speech. Okay. Nigga, the U.S. Army. Yeah, you uh, that's it. All right, cool. That's it. Speaks the Navy. For itself. The oh. Navy? <laughs> she banged on it. Nigga, the Navy. Nigga. Yeah. First, I ain't gonna lie, I can never get down with the Navy because that fucking white suit that's bullshit, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nah, I think yeah, that blue like, and green and the, then the water shit. I no, no, no. Cool. Their camo is their dope. Their camo is their dope. Their digital they camo. Got the best camo on the fucking on a, on a they, planet. That blue camo was. That blue camo is cold. Let's be serious. Can't go on. Can't go on. Can't blue, go on just the blue. You feel what I'm saying? No, it's not. It's trash. It's trash. <laughs> you, he has to say that. The Marines camo is kind of dope too, though. Trash. Desert. I'm great. The desert is dope. It's cool, but it ain't fucking with the fucking Navy shit. No, the Navy is the hardest one. Come but, on, bro. Blue camo, I'm sorry, right? bro. Yeah. I love you, but no, it, it's it ain't. No, it's blue digital camo. It ain't. Yeah, Navy's f- destroying all you niggas. Exactly. I but, think your sweater's the best camo you Oh, yeah. Well, you no, know, that's, I no, that, you. no, that's I the best one, too. I wore this, I wore this for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did? You did? You got that from Dick's Sporting Goods. I didn't actually ask, but it's okay. Dick's fucking Sporting Goods. It's okay. You can shop at this store. He got it from Cabela's. It's okay. No. He got it from Cabela's. I wore this for you. But no, um, no, I think Navy's the hardest, though, bro. But when they have to put on that fucking white... That shit with is that fun. goddamn blue. That's like a 1970s yeah. outfit. Yeah. 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 Wait, who puts the on shit, the white? The who puts on the white? Navy. Is it Navy? Is it Navy? In the snow? What's wearing white? Don't Not you know that when snow, Jesus though. returns, he's going to wear white? Sometimes they wear the white. I can't remember when. Though. It's, it's like, like, snow? It's like formal. It's a formal. Like the, it's a formal attire. Talking? Oh, you're talking about the actual. Jesus wore white. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have a problem with white. I have a problem with that particular white uniform, sir. I don't like that. I like that white uniform. Well, put it on. Join the fucking Navy, my nigga. Okay. 
the dude that's <laughs> here with, with me is named. He, he can talk. Well, I'm signing you, you up, nigga. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm putting your name on a <laughs> list. Oh, you going to be so, and you can build and refrigerators and too, such. Motherfucker. <laughs> you're young, right? He's impressionable. Able body, how impressionable. How long do you have to be in the Navy to get out? Like two years? Nigga, I'm committing a felony before I go in there. Can anybody join the Navy? Three years. Can I, can I, what can I, I join? What if I commit? What if I go commit a felony? My little cousin is in the Army. His name is Kane. You go. We gonna find him, right? No, he, go, he knows him. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows this name. Know, he bro. knows. You know how you have people come up, yo. You in the army? Oh, you know Miller, <laughs> bro. I know like. 15. How many? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one? No, he's African. You gonna do? You know, no, he's African. And I don't. Know, I don't know how big the African representation I, is yet in the army. A lot of it's a lot. Quite yeah. large. I can believe is it. it. I can believe that. Cause think a lot of people. Some people you come. In, I know people like a lot of them Samoans. They got in the army. Awesome. I never really seen him in the army, though. bro. Listen, I want to tell you something. Hold on. In, in no, the, I'm serious, no, listen, bro. In it's the not. valley, in the valley, Oceanside, yeah. how all those houses got bought was from Samoans getting in the army. I know I a bitch that. I used to have. Her grandpa bought and sold a lot. Are we talking about? No, no, no. We ain't talking about her. <laughs> they, they were straight from Samoa. They didn't come like. But uh, uh, uh hold on. my fault. She's a bitch. Fuck her. That's uh, what I'm saying. She's a bitch. <laughs> I don't have any respect for this girl. I'm talking about. But uh. uh, uh <laughs> Her Just her her back. dad her dad got because you remember they got American Samoa. Yeah. You got a bathroom in here? Yeah, right here. You got a piss. Go ahead. No, we ain't got no bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Outhouse. Outhouse. Mm. But she she's <laughs> you know they have American Samoa, so they was having these Samoa sign up. And um this nigga used his GI Bill and bought a few cribs. All that Arthur Ave, that Samoa. Oh, uh, yeah, I, yeah. That's yeah. Samoa like yeah. he started all that. He he bought the houses and sold them to other Samoans. <sighs> yeah, that's that's how their whole community the exists right there. He's talking about it's one way in, one way out. Yeah, I almost shit. got. I never told you. You don't want to get caught dead, bro. In there. bro I'm, y'all, I ain't tell you about the time I got caught slipping in there. No, no, no. no you did. You found a, a creative way, which I still don't know how the fuck I you got did. Out of there. I don't. I mean, got look, out of there. You got the Seven Eleven right there. Uh-huh. The furthest I've been in Gold. there, I, got, I used to get my hair cut right there in that barber shop in that little parking lot. Well, yeah, yeah. Where the Popeye sell Th- That's all it. Seven uh-huh. Eleven. I never. I had. I had a homie, Stephen St. John and Bobby St. John. Mm-hmm. I forgot what. I think they were from ICG. Oh, you saying? Uh-huh. Going there, that's about as far as I would go. I would never go in there. Yeah, go. In the, Hell oh, no. Once you check that right on gold, nigga, it's going to get treacherous because you really can't get out of there like that. So, nah, bro. So I went over there one time. Again, all them niggas was at, they was at the beach. There was a party at the beach. So we had the hoes over there. And they're like, yeah, come through. Like, everybody gone. Feel me? So we hit the block, boom. We chilling, nigga. It's me and my homeboy. You know, you know, Craze from DVC. My, my Craze my is one name. of the names my, my from there. Oh head, oh head. Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm with Craze nephew, right? Mm-hmm. And um, bro, we just chill. We're on the block, nigga. Chilling, nigga. I'm talking about like it's sweet because it's dead. It's just us and the three girls. The block is dead. Mm-hmm. And um, bro, all of a sudden, we hear somebody pull up on the light, bumping, boom, boom. I was like, oh. We're about to get caught slipping off. Mind you, it's a dead end. There's like yeah, you, you can't run no way. And, and our dumbass, see, this is when I learned a lesson about having your car turned out the right way when you need to get out of there. Got I, to. I, that was the time I learned got that lesson, to. I, and I, I will only operate. Got like to that back in, bro. You got to back in. On my life, yeah, right? Got, from there, I know I already know how to do it. Got to. But that was in. when I learned the lesson. So I'm like, fuck, boom. I'd be duck behind the car, nigga. The car my expedition, nigga, full of niggas, bumping, bumping. Boom, I duck behind the car. We get in the car, just spin the cut, that's it, boom. We hit the block, bro, we jump in the car, we out, we gone. So we got out of there. Then I went over there another time. So I'm riding with, so there was a time I was staying. You don't know in Tri-City, the, Le- the Legoland Apartments over there? You got it. They're like, yeah, they they might not have been, they probably were built when you was around. It's all like a Section 8 apartment complex, but they're yellow, so we call them Legoland. Cause it looked like Legos, but like where? So all right, it's so. like you know where Tri City, where the liquor store and shit is at, uh huh, and the barbershop and all that. Uh-huh. It's behind it. It's like right behind it. By the, by the DMV, like you. you no, not that far. Like park? right behind it, but like going towards that way. But it's right behind. You know, see, it's like Cedar. It's on Cedar. It's on Cedar. Cedar Road. Boom. You go in there, boom. It's it's a whole big ass apartment I, I, complex. I know, I know. I just yeah. you know what ghetto I'm saying? ass, just Section Eight apartment complex. Yeah. So me and my little my bro, my little brother's best friend, it was funny. They're from Columbus, Georgia, but they were staying out there, right? They was they was in there, and boom, I was with, I was with one of the girl cousins, and we I think we dropped these little niggas off to the barbershop or something, and then she seen somebody, and um she like oh they're like we need to ride home, she like all right, so they driving, all of a sudden boom we passed the movies. I'm like, I'm like man where we going? 
You know what I'm saying? Now I'm starting to worry. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, where are we going? Boom, we take the right on the North River. I'm like, man, North River Road. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. where are we going? Yeah, 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 yeah. We pull up to gold. We take it right. I'm like, I know we didn't just take it right on gold, mm-hmm. nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm talking, I pulled my shit out, left it in my lap, nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, like, hell nah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to be over here. You know what I'm saying? People that over there. Listen, I go in here, boom. We dropped them off. We got out of there. There was some, it was, it was, it, it was it was a couple individuals on the corner, um, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it was cool. Nigga got in and out there, whatever. But I'm like, yeah, you can't. I'm like, don't take me over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should know not to bring me over here with me in the car. But it was one time, man, I had this one broad and her dad. I told you about the one who plays like a legend for EC for football. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So her dad was basketball coaching, and he had a basketball tournament at, at the, the – they built a – over there in the hood, they built a, a rec center. Oh, shit. Melba okay. Bishop Park. Okay. Right? It's okay. newer. It was uh-huh. newer when I was there. So Bishop Park is across the way though, right? Yeah, now yeah, yeah, they got a rec center for it though. Over there. Yeah, and they got yeah, a whole yeah, center I know for it. Now. About, yeah, 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 yeah. So we over there, I'm like, so what happens is this is what happened, my boy, the one you met from Queens. Uh huh. So he something happened like we had to watch my brother and sister. So we're just riding. And I'm like he like, man, what are we finna do? I'm like, man, take me to my bitch at her, her her grandparents. I was like, take me over there. So we go over there. My just is I already met her parents, but I hadn't met her grandparents yet, whatever. So we go over there, and he fuck around and leave me over there. He like, damn, because he got his mom car. He like, man, I said my mom back her car. So he leave us over there. So my my girl at the time, mom, she like, oh, I, you know, you guys just ride with us. It's fine. I'll take you back home in a minute. But we're gonna go to the park to the basketball tournament. <laughs> Man, we pull up in the. I'm like, oh, it's right here. I'm like, nah, like you know, you don't get it. I can't go to this. I can't go to this basketball tournament. You, you don't understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody in there likes me. So then what ends up happening? That's remember the story I told about the Valentine's Day game. Yeah, Oceanside EC. Yeah, yeah, and the niggas yeah, trying yeah. to get up on us on that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that where it started? No, no. That that was like the that was like the part two to that. Okay, was that because I'm like, no, you don't understand. I can't go in this gym. Nigga, this is gonna be a problem, and I'm just here with my brother, my little brother, and my little sister. Like, fuck no, I'm not going to. Mm-hmm. So, and she didn't get it, and I didn't want to spell it out for her, because because I wasn't spelling it out for her, she was trying to downplay it, right? Like, what? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm like, no, no, you, no, you, you don't get it. These niggas already shot me like two years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you no, know, it's a problem. So, um, whatever, whatever. So whatever, we end up getting, she's like, all right, whatever. She didn't take us home, whatever. But uh, then the basketball game, that was like probably a couple months later. Mm-hmm. The basketball game, this and it happened. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that was, I ain't gonna lie, the basketball game, that was, it was legend. Even though nothing really happened, it was legendary because they, re- I really, niggas really felt some type of way. Absolutely. My bad. I just we, we, walked into their game. Yeah. I walked yeah. into the game, nigga. All the bitches told me hi, nigga, and I walked out. That's right. And niggas start getting up like, no, nah, nigga. Yeah. No, nah, bro, yeah. fuck that. Yeah. Hey, this nigga can't just come yeah. in here. Ah. And then we just drove off. Yeah. They tried to run over the car, and we drove yeah. off. And then all the girls yeah. were like, them niggas don't come back and shoot y'all, man. Y'all should stop fucking with them like that. You know what right. I mean? Oh, y'all finna let him treat. Like, look, y'all stop fucking with him. Right. You know he coming over here for us. Right. So um, that was, that was, that was. Uh, we we, we going on, we going on a little That nigga made the nigga name real big. Yeah. <laughs> we we, we going on a binge sometimes because, like, when I found out he was from the same area that I was from, like, because that's how I kind of met him. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, you the Oceanside nigga? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should start talking about shit. Like, we'll be at camp sometimes for, like, hours just talking. Not hours, but, like, two hours. At least an hour just talking about, oh, you know that? No, we've been told for a minute. Yeah. I I made sure that that car was ready to go. Yeah, yeah, it's (laughs) good. It's good. And I brought an extra just Yeah, all praises. So, like, you know what I mean? We go on our binges sometimes. Yeah, it's cool. Um,